Hello, hello, welcome. How are you doing? How is your Saturday going today, my friends? Welcome to the Jet Lounge. We will be doing quite a few things today. Um, but hold on, let me get some of this set up and opened. Oh, nice. Okay, I just found. Uh, <laughs> I just found my um, my notes from <laughs> last week for later alligator. I am quite excited. All right. Um, let me go ahead and get this switched over and opened. In segundo. Boom. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Everybody. I said everyone. Everybody, welcome to the Jet Lounge. Hope you have maybe a coffee or like a, um, a warm drink beverage of some kind, if you would like that. Or maybe a cold one. It could be quite warm where you're at. Here, it is not. Still. Uh, hold on. Let's check the temperature. It's 32. It'll go up to 40 today, just about. So, it's still pretty cold. Plus, I actually will still drink very hot coffee drinks, even during the summer. So, it kind of doesn't affect me as much. But, today, uh, we've got a few things planned. One, we will be... As we always do with the Jet Lounge, we, we, we chat at the beginning. We chat. We chat at the beginning. Seeker Life, welcome. Uh, change the background so it fits the season a little bit better. Um, but we'll start with some chatting. I actually have um, a Tokyo Treat Box, which I've never received one before. So this is my, my first Tokyo Treat Box. But it is cherry blossom themed, so it kind of fits all the theme. It all, it all ties together. Um, and then after that, we'll move on to later alligator once, once we're kind of done chatting, but secret life, how is your Saturday going? How's your weekend? Um, so far, uh, let's see after stream yesterday, I kind of just did some random chores that I've kind of been slacking on and then played a little bit of apex, uh, with my pal Balto and my other pal glove. Um, and that, that actually ended up being a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, we normally have fun playing it, but we, we tried some different things, and it actually kind of worked for us. So we were like, oh, why haven't we been doing this this entire time? I'm also wearing a later alligator shirt <laughs> that I got. And I tried to work on the green screen, but you can kind of see it's still kind of like somewhat transparent. But anyway. Um... But today has kind of been a bit of a lounge morning. I meant to get up way earlier, and I sort of just decided, how about, how about no? <laughs> how about I just lay here and and scroll through through Reddit? And that was and that was fine. I think I needed that. I took like, <laughs> I would like wake up, kind of check some things, and be like, my eyes are still so tired, so I'm going to uh, just. Just take another nap. Dash! Thank you for the lurk. Uh, and thank you for the stream earlier. Sorry, I had to I had to kind of like <laughs> uh, peace out a little bit. I um I had to get ready for the stream. I had, because I had been just laying in bed, I was like, oh, I need to actually start getting ready now. <laughs> it's time. It's time where I'm going to be soups late. Um but the island is looking lovely. It's looking great. Um, and yeah, I 
can't wait to see can't wait to see more of what happens um this week has been interesting because of all the new cherry blossom things well not the new stuff but that it's back that's back i am sad that there's not new stuff and again i don't understand why they decided let's let's give some more bunny day things And with Cherry Blossoms being probably one of the most popular limited events, limited time events, they decided, not today, not not this year, we're not going to give anything new. I feel like that's so weird. Now, I am curious, <laughs> today's stream is sponsored by the letter J. Welcome, Selmers. How are you doing? How is your Saturday going? Um... Again, I'm, I'm, I, I imagine, well, on a different topic, kind of, I'm imagining that 2.0 update for Animal Crossing will kind of be a bigger thing, maybe, um, because we're still at 1.9, and I figured if they wanted for, like, the new, like, for an anniversary thing, they could have swapped over for 2.0, um, even if it they skipped, you know, 1.9 or whatever. They could have just jumped up to 2.0, but they haven't. And it makes me think that maybe here, like... Because, I mean, we're going to be approaching video game announcement season here in, like, a month or two. That maybe there will be, like, a, a big 2.0. Hey, here's your Brewsters. Here's your, your Nook's Cranny upgrade. I don't know. Just playing some Splatoon. Nice, nice. How are you? Are you are you winning? Are you winning, Selmers? I've only played a very well, I played the first Splatoon a lot. I only played the single player of Splatoon 2. Um and I like I mean I like it. I love the aesthetics of Splatoon. Um, but I didn't get super big into like the competitive competitive um, scene. But granted, I didn't really have many friends that played Splatoon, so it was just kind of like me and randoms every time. I feel like it would be pretty fun playing with friends and kind of coordinating versus just like, well, I'm gonna do my thing over here and hopefully my my other team does, does good as well. Um, I am kind of excited about Splatoon 3, though. I think that one I might get a little bit more into. We'll see. And I think they said that's 2022, if I'm correct. Let me double check that. Splatoon tree. Yeah, 2022. I wonder if they're aiming for, like, beginning of 2022 since they announced it so early. Like, maybe that's, like, a February release date. Oh, which would be a year from the announcement, which would be, like, probably pretty good. I'm still surprised that they have not announced anything for Breath of the Wild 2. After those initial trailers, they've kind of just ignored it for, for since then. And I'm kind of confused as to what happened. Or why there's just nothing. Like, nothing. <laughs> they could have... At, at, like, um, at their last Direct, I feel like they could have mentioned... I mean, just given us a little tease. Even just a, an image. But instead, I'm not winning. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping for an early summer date. Interesting. Um, I, uh, I, I know they mentioned in that last Direct, they were just like... I know you're expecting some Breath of the Wild 2 news, but today we are not we are not talking about that. <laughs> Instead, let's talk about this other thing. Um, and I, I don't know, I just feel like missed opportunity. I just we we need a little bit more. I think at this point some people are just even unsure if it's coming out this year cuz it's supposed to be I think winter 2021. But maybe got pushed back. Maybe they're waiting for... If there is, like, a Switch Pro news. 
you know, maybe they're waiting to announce Breath of the Wild 2 info with the Switch Pro info. Maybe that's what, what's happening here. I don't really know. I mean, it kind of makes sense to have the Breath of the Wild 2 release coincide with Switch Pro news. I don't know. Though I'm sure Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be playable on both, so they could still give us some info and then be like, LOL, guess what? If you want to Switch Pro, like, your Breath of the Wild 2 is going to run better. I'm kind of hoping, I'm hoping that's the case, but we shall see. So, um, thing I want to do, I'm going to start opening up this Tokyo Treat Vokes. It's a pretty big box. Um, I did actually already open it up just to take. I knew there was a there was a drink in there, so I I got it and threw it in the refrigerator. So it is cold. But I didn't really look at anything else. So one, ooh, spoilers. Uh, <laughs> so one, we get looks like a little um a little guide. Looks like we get a little guide on what's inside. This is also my first Tokyo Treat Box. I didn't sign up for a subscription, but I was just like, I'm really curious about what these cherry bo blossom snacks are kind of like. So, um, let's see. Got a little thing that says, Hello, Tokyo Treat family. We've got some extra Kit Kats that we'd love to give to you. You can scan a QR code and get some Kit Kats or something. What else is this? I feel like someone's dying in this song. Let's <laughs> let's not have my snacks while <laughs> here over the the last words of somebody. I feel like that's a good thing. All right, let's see. Then there are some advertisements. They're like, "Lol, you could subscribe to these other boxes." But okay. How to open a Ramune. That is uh, what's in the refrigerator. Apparently there's a photo contest. And now there is a snack menu. Okay. So. Um, let's start off with... Um, let's find this. Because I have my, my coffee right over here. Here we have... First thing... Sakura Latte Marshmallows. Getting major spring vibes from these marshmallows. They come in two flavors, Sakura Pink and Sakura Latte White. Enjoy them on their own or as a topping for sweets or drinks. Um, so we've got some Sakura Marshmallows. And yeah, they're very like, they're very light. They look like, um, they look like the petals you catch. Hold on. In Animal Crossing. I mean, I'm sure that they are based on the actual petals, but it is interesting that they look almost exactly like the petals we catch. And let's see, it says it's pink, it's just Sakura. And then the white one is with Latte. Mm. Okay, so... You know, it actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> We're gonna put some, since I have my coffee... I'm gonna actually put some. I'm gonna put some in there. There's actually quite a bit of marshmallows. Nom 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 nom. I kind of think it makes sense for a summer release since most of the games and DLC came out in the summer. Oh, it's officially summer break and you get to play Splatoon 3 with you and your buddies. That makes sense. Especially if previous games have all come out maybe during the summer. Oh! Dash! Thank you for the raid. <laughs> That's why you were lurking. <laughs> oh, let's see. Where is my... <clears throat> Shout out to Dash. Thank you for the raid, buddy. <laughs> Blitz and Talonus, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Everyone's coming in at once. Dash, thank you for the stream earlier. So I had to kind of like duck out. I I had kind of been lounging for most of the morning. 
on a certain point, I was like, oh wait, I have to get ready for stream. <laughs> but I was like, but Dash is on. So I sort of just popped in and out. And Sophie, welcome, how are you doing? The island's looking great. I'm surprised at the lack of puppies. Um, Talonis, how's your Saturday going? Oh, well, your Sunday. <laughs> You're in the future. How are your days going? Anything interesting lately? Not too much. We just started opening up the uh, Tokyo Treats box. Just put some marshmallows, some cherry blossom marshmallows in my my uh, coffee. But um, really, this week, it's raining. Oh. I know it's stormed quite a bit, but does it rain much in Australia? I would imagine it being kind of like dry a lot of the time. And Julia, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. I saw actually, funny enough, while I was in Dash's stream, I saw that your name was at the bottom in, in terms of, um, I think it was like recent followers. And I love it. I love, I think one of my favorite things is when like I pop into somebody else's stream and I'm like, oh, people, people are here. <laughs> like I, I either know people here or like I see that they're, you know, I like seeing some cross pollination. I like seeing cross pollination. It does, but not like this very often. Just a nice amount of rain. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know. I, I didn't know if it was more of like, um, like some of my friends recently moved to Arizona, which is in the southwest of the United States, um, and uh, they don't get rain very much at all. Like it's very rare, um, and they have like cacti there and stuff. And if it rains enough, like if it rains a ton, because all the 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 cact the cacti. They, uh, apparently, like, they're just used to, like, any moisture they get, they just kind of, like, keep storing it, keep storing it. So when it rains, they'll just, like, like, if there's, a like, a really big storm or something where it's a ton of rain, they will just keep holding all of the moisture in until they eventually just, like, burst. Um, so anyway, they, so southwest U U.S., maybe not a ton of rain depending on where you are. So I was curious if Australia's... How much rain you guys get but i guess you guys are also on the coast so maybe there's some that comes from there but well 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 welcome in balto nice weather without rain don't know her <laughs> um you see the thing is is that i love rain no rain balto gets no rain that was actually the friend i was talking about uh <laughs> Uh, no rain. Um, but, what was I going to say? Oh, but see, I see, I love rain. I love rain. I love overcast. I love winter, snow. Give me that. That's when I know we're having a good day. Um, that's why I kind of think, I've heard that people say that it rains a lot in, like, the UK. I think I would kind of like it up there. Yeah, Julia helped us, uh, helped us decide what to do with an area she had, and or an area. She had the awesome idea of turning into an ice cream shop. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is fantastic. I love that. That's basically how the weather is now. Okay, okay. Um, no, I... Hey! <laughs> I love it. So, for all those that are, who, who have been coming in recently... The plan for today is I'm actually opening up, I'll show you, I'm opening up, can I do it one-handed? This uh, Tokyo Treats box, I don't even know if it's in frame. Um, it's my first little Tokyo Treat box. I've only opened one thing this far on stream. Um, and uh, then we're gonna hop into Later Alligator, which I'm wearing a shirt for. Um, and if you guys weren't here for it last week, it is such a humorous, funny game. Ooh, maybe I know some of the stuff inside. The only thing we opened up thus far were these Sakura marshmallows. Some of it tastes like Sakura, some of it tastes like Sakura latte. I put it in my coffee. 
Um, and I will say my coffee is more like, I can't believe, <laughs> wow, it's, I can't believe it's not butter in here. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> they just started sending imported American products, but through this. Um, let's, um, let's see what this is. This is... This is... Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh! Interesting. Curry Turtle Crackers! <laughs> Let's see what this says. Light, crunchy, and spicy. These are the perfect crackers to spice up your cherry blossom viewing party for Japanese curry fans. Welcome back, Secret Life. So this is what this looks like. Oh. It's a little, there's a little guy up front. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see. Updating my audio drivers. Oh, fun stuff, fun stuff. Fun computery things. Um, so, why are they called turtle crackers? <laughs> Question. And I'm, I'm not going to eat, like, all of this at once. I'm just going to kind of, like, get a few tastes. Because I want to save some of this. Woo! Oh. Wow, those these smell <laughs> so strong. And interesting. I guess because they're kind of shaped like this? I don't know if this is how in focus this is. Look at this guy. An interesting cracker shape. Hmm. Wow. It does actually taste like curry. Interesting. This is really good. They are kind of light and fluffy. You like the, these? These are pretty good. Hmm. But there's not many in here. So I'll only take a, a little bit. I'm only gonna take a little bit. What shirt am I wearing? I'm wearing a later alligator shirt. Hmm. Wow, the, like, imagine curry. Imagine curry, but in a chip. <laughs> and it's like, really, um, it's like almost like a puffed chip. I know, actually, I got this just for myself, because I was like, man, this game is hilarious. I love it so much. Uh, and I think this, like, recently came out in the past week. Um, and, or maybe it got restocked, I don't know. I got off of fangamer.net? Dot com? I forget. I think it's dot com. It's because it's Japanese. Everything is in small portions, kind of like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't. The thing is, I don't want to, like, waste it. I don't want to, like. I, I kind of want to come back to this later, so I'm just going to. I'm only. I only took, like, three or four pieces, and now I'm just going to put it off the side. Put a little Ziploc baggie, have it later. Um, oh, by the way, it's going to take all of me to not save all of this, like. <laughs> all of the wrappings from this it's gonna take a lot because I <laughs> I want to keep all of it um but uh yeah I got this shirt and honestly I was like I don't think it's gonna get in by next jet lounge since um I live in Alaska but it did it came in yesterday so I gave it a good wash and now I was like perfect I get to represent later alligator while we play um I'm gonna open this one. And it was funny because I just mentioned that I wanted some popcorn yesterday. So we have some popcorn. What does this say? On here. Mike Popcorn Classic Salt. Nothing says party like popcorn. Mike's popcorn is Japan's favorite popcorn and essential party snack. And this one will surely be a hit with its classic salty flavor. Um, so let's try it out. What have you happened before this? So I opened some Sakura marshmallows. I'm gonna have another one. And they're kind of cool. They come in two flavors, but they look like little, little petals. They look like little petals. I put some in my coffee. So there's some floating in there. Um, and then I opened these curry chips and that's it. These curry turtle chips. Curry turtle crackers. 
Tasted very good. Um, let's see. Let's see what um, Mike's popcorn classic salt tastes like. So I am ready for a movie night now. I didn't even have to order groceries. And you know, surprise, surprise, they taste like classic salt popcorn. There's a good old popcorn. Made by Frito-Lay. So you know it's pretty standard. This is good. I actually want some popcorn. So boom. Ask and you shall receive. Then you're doing a movie night tonight. Again, after I solved the technical issues from yesterday. What happened? open what should we open let's open something sweet this looks like it's candy um i need to okay i need i've been thinking about now that it's kind of the discord is expanding i was kind of like maybe i should pop up with roles like um where you guys assign yourself roles when you want notifications and stuff Anti-piracy means when you stream from a browser to Discord, the screen is just black. Oh, did you end up doing a movie night last night? Um, let's see. I think Secret Life was setting one up. Um, uh, so you can't screen record movies. Yeah, so that happens. I know with... Um, when I am playing on my PS4 and streaming on here, um, you actually have to turn off a setting. Um, or it won't show up in OBS at all. And basically... It denies you using any, like, any of the YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime apps. I assume that's so that you just can't, like, screen record movies and stuff. Um, so it looks like there are little protections like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is Mini Monster Gummy. Looks like this. Um, let me see what it says. The Winter Blues got still got you down. Get a sour spring shock with this fruity soft monster gummy that will help you get into the spring mood. It kind of looks like... Wish I had a scissor. Um, it kind of looks like a... Um, you'll see. What are those striped candies that are like in a... Straws. Sour straws? Sour punch straws? We did, but it was a little... There was a workaround. Hold on. See, it looks like sour punch straws, and you can even... Oh? Maybe not. I'm just going to take a chunk of this. Hmm. Woo! Woo! This is sour, it's coming! Yeah! <laughs> it's, woo! It started off very sweet! Oh no, my eye! It can't, it can't open! Woo! Nom nom! <laughs> it is actually very good! It is actually very good! It started off really sweet! It's almost like the opposite of a, um... Sour Patch Kid. Wait. Right? Are, are Sour Patch Kids sour first and then sweet? Yeah. This one I felt like I could taste all of the, like, flavor. Hmm. Kind of has a, um... What's that gum? Fruit Stripe gum? It has a very Fruit Stripe gum flavor to it. Like, it's a really strong, like, uh, tasty sweet flavor and then all of a sudden it just got real sour uh, <laughs> right there at the end um it's pretty good though that's pretty good i'm gonna save it saving all of these it feels weird at just opening up a like a snack bag and not finishing it <laughs> and just being like i'll save that for later 
seems weird to do that, especially when they're, some of them are, are I could, I mean, you could totally eat this. Easy peasy one sitting, it's not very, it's not very big, but. Swag, welcome. Um, let's see what this is. Ooh. Here we have, I don't know, this isn't Doraemon, but who is this? He looks very similar. Umai Sugar Rusks. Uh, these sweet and crunchy Japanese sugar snacks are an awesome energy booster. A corn snack that we promise you won't be able to stop crunching. I thought they, these kind of look like little breads. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I thought it was not sweet, but here we go. Uh, oh, Swag, you don't have to apologize for that. Let's see. Emmer's welcome. Okay, they still look like little breads. Interesting. They kind of smell like popcorn. Emmer's, how, how's your day going so far? We're just opening up some snacks before we get into later alligator. Mm. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> oh, it's someone's house for dinner, so I have you unload my phone. Hilarious. Hello, friends. Hello, hello, Emmer's friends. <laughs> Gilmore, welcome. Snack bags and sharing bags are just portions for normal people. It's against the law to reseal a bag and not finish the contents, right? I think so. I have heard that. This, I don't really know how to describe this flavor. It does say it's corn, right? It's a corn snack. I can kind of taste like, I get a hint of, is it the taste of double toasted toast? Doesn't, okay, it looks like little, it looks like it should be like a little French bread, like loaf sliced and toasted. No, it kind of tastes more like a corn pop, but with something else. I wish I could read the ingredients. Like it's sweet. It's really hard to tell. I mean, it's like maybe, I mean, it's very corn popsy, but it's soft. Like it's not crunchy. I mean, it's kind of crunchy. There's a crunch to it, but it's not like you're biting into like a thing. I wish, hold on. I wonder if my Google Translate app. Okay, that's, we have the same thought. Um, this is actually the app I used when I went to, where is it? When I went to Japan, I used this app and it kind of helped me communicate with people. Now, hold on. Um, where's the camera? Aim at text. I am aiming at text. Oh, okay. Um, corn. USA. So maybe looks like it was imported. Vegetable oils. Um, sugar. Wait, it's... Hold on. Okay, sugar. Bread flour? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it keeps on, it just changed bread flour into theory. So I think I need to straighten this out a little bit so that it can read it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, yes. Corn flour theory. Okay. Um, raw materials. <laughs> ah, yes. I love raw materials in my snack. Dry yolk. Salt, flour, uh, sweeteners including wheat milk. Um, I hope you like to. <laughs> what does this say? Crisp and comfortable like a rusk corn, 
Finished with a good texture. It's a snack. <laughs> Period. I just love that. It's a snack. Um, <clears throat> take, have, log per the sugar. Fully enjoy the sweetness, taste, enjoy. <laughs> so, it's theoretical flour, indeed. Um, is this any better than shapes or Tim Tams? I would say shapes... You can't beat shapes. <laughs> Taloni, you can't beat shapes. That's a... Uh, <laughs> that's that's not even a question. I still have a bag or two of, of pizza shapes left that I still haven't finished. Um, because I'm savoring it. I'm saving it. What does this say up front? Is child. <laughs> that's that. Hold on. Prefectural child. That does not. I don't think that's correct. A child's stray car. I don't think this is working. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's the font. Stripe of a car. Nope. Striker. I think it's striker. That makes sense because it's a it's a soccer person. Yeah, I don't. I I think. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe if I get closer, it'll know what's happening. Okay, now it says congressman. <laughs> I don't think this is a snack for congressman. What phone is that? This is an iPhone 8. S? A plus? 8 plus. I think it's an 8 plus. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Um, saving those for a special occasion. I am. Do you recognize this snack, Julia? Um, uh, actually, I still have. I've been showing. I've been t Taloni. I have kept. Um, I still am working my way through the chocolate. I have seen it, but I have not tried it. It, it tastes. It's interesting. It's a very interesting, like corn, sweet corn flavor. Um, and by the way, Taloni. I've been slowly piecing together a box for you. So I have some snacks. I'm trying to hunt some things down, though. Um, okay. Let's try. Well. Yeah, let's try this. This is probably very similar. Onion taro snacks. Actually, not very similar. Um... This is what this looks like. I'll read, read you a little bit about it. We're closing out our Hanami party. We're going out of order. I'm just kind of grabbing things. With a savory corn snack you won't forget anytime soon. The super tasty onion flavor of these corn snacks will have your mouth watering. Yes, they are so good. Let's see. Ooh, Lara. Welcome, welcome. These taste very good. I feel like these taste very similar to the curry turtle crackers. But they are in a, like, cheesy poof format. They, oh, the Takis? Okay. It's like a, it's more of like a Mexican snack, isn't it? But we can, I'll definitely send them over. Hmm. These are really good. I mean, you can taste the onion. For sure. North American. That's fair. Um, this does taste very good. I wonder what... Let's see what the app says. About this. What is in this? Tell me. Corn. Vegetable oil. Powder. Sugar. S spices. Seasoning. Um. It keeps on changing. Wheat for amino acid. 
Beans. Maybe. Maybe not beans. Now it just says beauty. So it also contains beauty. So there you go. Vertex, welcome. I'm so hyped right now. I love watching people try Japanese snacks. <clears throat> is there a Japanese tea in there? I don't think so. This is the this is the cherry blossom um like snack box. Um so it's all cherry blossom themed. Um let's try. Wait, what song is this? KK Cruisin'! Oh wow. <clears throat> What is this? This, is, this has this character again. I don't know if you guys can see. The same guy who's on the, uh, the, um, the Umai Sugar Rusks. This is Umaibo Cheese. Umaibo, is that his name? Umaibo? Also, I have a Sakura Ramune that I need to get out of the refrigerator at some point. Um,. Oh, no, that's a snack. Okay. Do you know who this person is? Like, I mean, he reminds me of Doraemon, but also not. But it's not Doraemon, because Doraemon's, like, blue. Also, have you guys ever looked up the history of Doraemon? His backstory is crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know about the character. Marble Soda. Have definitely heard about it. Okay, let's see. We couldn't leave. This is called Umaibo Cheese. We couldn't leave our cheese fans hanging at Sakura season, and this classic crunchy corn snack is the perfect way for cheese lovers to satisfy. I think that was, there's a typo, because it doesn't end, the sentence doesn't end. <laughs> I love Doraemon, I have almost all the mangas. His backstory, or like how he became blue and stuff is ridiculous. Okay, what is this? It's like a cheesy poof, but it's a log. Hilarious. Cheesy poof log. <laughs> mm. Cheesy poof log. <laughs> I thought you called it a log. I mean, it kind of is. I mean, it... Tastes really good. It, I mean, it tastes like just a huge cheese puff, maybe? I'll take another bite. I will say, though I'm sure, though I'm sure Japanese snacks aren't necessarily like just like healthy. <laughs> I feel like all of these snacks have felt super light. Where I think a lot of American snacks, they just they feel kind of heavy after you've had just a little bit. All of these have been like really light. And maybe all of it's because it's like a lot of cheese poofs stuff. I don't know what you call that, but like air puffed things. It's just interesting. Um here we have Vasa's Das, is what I want to know. Ramen Shop Taro Snacks. This guy. After a party, nothing is better than some tasty, savory ramen snacks. Try enjoying them in hot water or munch on them as they are. Okay, so I'll just munch on a couple. Let's see what see what this tastes like save some maybe maybe try putting some in some hot water later what is a ramen snack I wonder does it taste like ramen <laughs> I mean it looks like I it's it looks like noodle Interesting. I wonder how this does taste in hot water. I mean, it kind of tastes like chow mein. <laughs> a 
like, but like, with the flavoring of maybe like a um, a chicken ramen packet, you know, like that seasoning they give you in like cup ramen. It's kind of what this tastes like. It actually tastes pretty good. It's like pretty flavorful for something so small. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like it. Um. Let's open. It comes with a big bag of Sakura Kit Kats. Let's see how this tastes. But let's read it first. Spring limited edition Sakura Kit Kats. The only thing better than elegant Kit Kat Sakura chocolate is that Nestle Japan donates 10 yen for every bag to Sakura Line 311, and a nonprofit organization that plants Sakura trees in areas affected by the Tohoku earthquake. Mm. So I believe, from what I have read, um, there is like a layer of some kind of Sakura flavoring in the middle. I think it's like chocolate coated on the outside, and then like the little in between wafer parts is like a some kind of jam, not a jam, but like a. Um, let's see if this says anything. Um. Okay, this part talks about uh, their donations. Have a break. Have a kitkato. Uh, let's see. What does this say up front? Um, oh, it's talking about the uh, donation thing again up front. What does this say up front? What? Um... Feelings are coupled. Small be coupled. Coupled be worse. If your feelings are connected to... Nope. Um, <laughs> this one is really having some trouble deciding what this says. Maybe if I get a little closer. Spread the future. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes this works really well. Sometimes I feel like it's telling me scary things. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's just see what this tastes like. Ooh, they come in little mini packs. Perfect. What does this say? There's like, there's like a little, uh, kit the future spread. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. Kit the future spread. Okay. You, you know. Kit the future spread. Of course. Let's see what, uh, let's see what this tastes like. Here we have the Kit Kat. We have the Kit Kat here. Whoop. Oh gosh. Hmm. Hmm. It's like, oh, it's very sweet. Wow. I wonder if this is white chocolate. Hmm. It is good. I had some Kit Kat, Kit Kat in my beard. What does it say? Mm. It's very sweet. It's like sweeter than a normal Kit Kat. Um, I mean, I like sweet stuff, so. <clears throat> Let's see.
semi chocolate. <laughs> um, it does say it uses. Man, it keeps on changing. Hold on, let's do this. Can you also? S okay. Um, wait for it, wait for it, hold on, I wish I could, I can't hold, hold on, Here, we're gonna do this. Let's see, semi-chocolate, <laughs> don't know what that means. Tomono oil carving, whole milk, cocoa butter, things it says. <laughs> Um, cocoa, cocoa butter, uh, okada powder, um, hold on, some of it's, it does look like it has some kind of, like, cherry blossom, like, uh, flavoring inside of it, it's good. Apparently, oh, Okada powder is soybean? Anyway, it tastes really good. It's interesting. There's actually quite a few inside, and there's like a little layer in between each of the wafers that I think that's where like the Sakura flavoring is. Now, what do we have? What do we have here? This says... Sankaku vegetable crackers. The most of the packaging is green, FYI. Um, ready for some salty veggie flavored crackers. These cute triangle crackers are super crunchy and addictive. You won't want to share them at the Hanami party. Oh, Hanami. Speaking of, that was the the name of the island we went and visited that I got that pattern from. And we were like, what did these lanterns say? And then we learned it was Hanami. Fun. We're learning things. Okay. Doesn't say what it's supposed to taste like, so we'll see what this does. Looks like little triangle crackers. They're really hard to see. They've got like a seasoning on top. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Little, they're like little Doritos. Um, interesting. I mean, the base of it is like a cracker, but I think this one is seasoned. I mean, hold on. What does this say? Kind of has some like herb, veggie type flavoring to it. What does this say? Translate it. If I something taste um, this is not it kind of has like a veggie flavoring to it almost like um, it's camouflage John Cena sponsored Japanese snack right <laughs> it has like a um trying to think of what it reminds me of but it has like a um it's not just like a general herbs and spices type flavoring but kind of kind of like a veggie straw i mean yeah it has like a like maybe you can taste a tomato and i don't know it's hard to explain but it does taste good i mean definitely it's crunchy like a normal cracker would be like a cracker snack um and then like a really light flavoring, but it kind of tastes, I mean, it's not like sun chips, like the um, uh, garden salsa sun chip. That is like a ton of flavoring and on like one single chip. This one, it would be like, it's similar to that, but it's like very light. It's not as much, there's not as much seasoning. It's more of the cracker. I think that's why it's kind of hard to explain what it tastes like. Um, 
but let's see. Okay, we have some. Welcome back. <clears throat> we have eaten. We have tried the Sakura Kit Kats, um, which were good. These ramen shop taro snacks. These were pretty good. It says to try them also in hot water, and I've not done that yet, but we'll do that. I'll do that at some point. And we just tried these. The um Sankaku vegetable crackers. Um, I think we we only have a few snacks left, and then I'll go get the drink out of the um refrigerator. Let's try I think we have some mostly candies. I think we mostly have candy. Let's try this one. I don't know what this is. They are see-through, yeah, I know. <laughs> Lots of green. This one says Fruits Donuts on the front, but what is this? Oh, Fruits Donuts Gummy. Can't get enough of fresh and fruity spring flavors, then have to try this super cute Japanese gummy. It's donut, sh if the donut shape doesn't convince. <laughs> and then that's where it ends. Oh, you guys didn't see that. I like, <laughs> wait, if the donut shape doesn't convince, then what, then what? <laughs> What is this a flavor of, I wonder? How donut shape? It's 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 like a a ring, like a um hold on. I and I think this is gonna be a an eat it all in one go versus save one, save some of this for later. Hold on. It's like a peach ring. I don't. I, I know we have these in the U.S., but it's like that. One half of it is green. One half of it is yellow. Tastes kind of like a um, a melon. On this side. I wonder what this side tastes like. Kind of like a... Oh, green apple. For sure. Green apple. Yep. Really sour. This is pretty tasty, though. Hmm. A bit chewy. <clears throat> I go I'll go ahead and finish this off. Hmm. It's pretty good though. It's not it was interesting, it's not too sweet. For like a sugary candy. I feel like it's um it's pretty tart. Actually, and maybe that's just because it's the green apple. Woo! Um But it tastes pretty good. So, I don't know if you guys do this, but with sour stuff, it's like <laughs> one of my eyes just starts to close in water. I don't know why it does that. But let's see. We have. Let's go with. <laughs> let's go with this. <laughs> this looks interesting. This is a. This is called Banana Man. <laughs> Um, it says, Banana Man is here to join your Sakura party. Inside this fluffy Japanese banana marshmallow, you'll find plenty of chocolate sauce that you will have, that will have you craving for more. Banana Man. Eh. Let's see. Oh, Wow. It smells like a circus peanut. <laughs> but yet, it looks like a Twinkie. <laughs> it looks like, kind of. I mean, it looks Twinkie-ish. But it has like a, like a marshmallow coating, kind of? I mean, ugh. Circus peanuts are gross. Yeah, it kind of, well, maybe it smells more banana-y, but there is a circus peanut type flavor to it. That's interesting. But I guess this is marshmallow? I 
I'm gonna eat this all in one go, just FYI. Okay, it does taste like banana. There is like a marsh, it's so hard to see. There's a marshmallow layer in the middle. Hold on. And I did not get to the chocolate, so. Mm. Okay, there's not a lot of chocolate in here. I can actually barely taste the chocolate. <laughs> like, just barely. It's so interesting, though. I don't know. Wait, more importantly, is this Friday Night Funkin'? What? Oh! This song is called Eggnog. Mm. I did not see what it was from. It was called eggnog. Interesting. This is a candy that I don't know if I would have again. <laughs> like it it both does and does not taste like banana. <laughs> um it's kind of an interesting, like, <clears throat> flavor, or like an interesting, um, it's like an interesting, um, texture, I mean, because <clears throat> there's like a light shell, it's like banana lap, yes, it is more like that, it's very similar to that, <clears throat> um, maybe not as strong, like it probably smelled stronger than it tasted, the marshmallow inside is very tasty, and there, it said there's like a chocolate sauce inside. It, um, was so, like, there's so little of it. I couldn't taste, I could not, if you gave me the snack, and I just ate it all in one go and, like, didn't look inside, I would not know that there was chocolate inside, I don't think. But it's still very interesting. Interesting little snack. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's go with... Um, let's go with this one because it's salty. Actually, these next ones I think are both. Um, this one is this guy. New Mochi Taro. Spring is all about new beginnings, but we're looking into the past with this awesome retro snack. These crunchy crackers have a simple saltiness that is super addictive. Let's see. <laughs> and you guys can see how weak I am. <laughs> oh, I could just tear it. That makes it so much easier. All right. I just don't want to destroy the packaging. In case you want to translate it. <clears throat> interesting. A little interesting little shape here. Hmm. Grab some scissors. I should. This tastes really good. Ooh, I like this a lot. They're like, it is a very simple saltiness. I like the crunch. It's like, imagine a crouton, but softer. But you still get a good crunch when you eat it. Let's try it, let's try another one. Um, and it may mostly tastes like a puff snack with a little bit of salt. Like there's just like a hint of flavor in it that I wonder if that is the, maybe the taro. Um, let's see if we can translate the, um, all these delicious looking treats. I know <clears throat> I... I had I got an ad for the Tokyo Treats box. I was like, you know what? I have wanted to try these for so long. Let's just try it. <clears throat> um, it actually tastes really good. Um, 
Okay, it doesn't help me when it just says seasoning. Can you give me... Like, all I'm seeing here is, like, normal stuff like flour, salt, oil. Um... So I wonder, I want to go back to Japan so bad now, miss the foodsies and family and friends, of course. <clears throat> um, I also want to go back to Japan. Um, um, and just get lost <laughs> like I did. That was always, that was actually really fun. <clears throat> just wandering around and then being like, I don't know where I am, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't, uh, that's fine. I'm just gonna explore and see what happens. Um, I wanna practice more Japanese though, before I go over next time. And like, tell myself I need to speak Japanese to a Japanese person like once a day. I need to like, go out of my way to say some things and make a fool of myself. And then respond in Spanish. Um, but wait, Taloni, are you playing some um, Monster Hunter? How far have you gotten? Okay. We've got <clears throat> three snacks left and a drink. Can I read Japanese? I can read hiragana and katakana. Could I tell you what it says? No. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Not right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go with this other one. This other, I think this is salty. You finished the story last night. Dang. <clears throat> I I'm, I feel bad. I have not played since the first day. But I've been, like, kind of busy. <laughs> but I want to play. If Maybe later today, if you're free or something. Wasn't too bad. Um... Uh, if you want to play some later or something, I might be, it might be free. This is, I don't know which is more visible. Um, tempura fried lemon squid snacks. Uh, it isn't a long story. Monster Hunter isn't known for story. That's fair. Um, we're adding some sour and savory lemon squid snacks to shake up the sweet Sakura surpri surprise. Enjoy it for a burst of refreshing sourness. Let's see. Ikaten lemon. Lemon. Let's see. Oh, is there only... What is this? There's only one chip inside! This is what it looks like. Wow, you can smell the lemon off of this chip. It looks like... Oh, yeah, it, it is tempura fried. Yeah. Interesting. Well, here it goes. We get the one, the one chip. Hmm. Ooh. Has like a... <clears throat> There is like a light seafood taste to it, flavor, with a bunch of lemon, with the crunchiness of tempura. That's actually really good. I would eat more of those. I think that's actually, it's kind of tasty. Mm. Yeah, there's like a, a light aftertaste of like, maybe what I would describe as like seafood taste. Um... But with lemon. But for sure there's lemon. Started off kind of lemony, and then there was also like a burst of lemon kind of in the middle. All right. We have two more snacks and a drink. Uh, this is... Mastro. Soft, light, and fluffy, like, sak like Sakuda. Uh, Mastro makes the perfect light Japanese marshmallow snack for any sweet tooth. <laughs> it's a marshmallow log this time. Let's see. Mm. 
And then once we're done here, we will move on to um, later alligator, which I'm excited about. Ooh. This is what it looks like. It is swirled white and yellow. It's kind of hard to tell because of my lighting. It's a little bright. I don't know if it has any flavor or if it's just kind of like marshmallow. Mm. I think it's just marshmallow. But it does taste pretty good. And it is pretty light and fluffy. I'm just going to finish it. Because I feel like marshmallows kind of just get hard after you open them. Mm. It is light and fluffy, indeed. All right. The last snack. Actually, I'll go get the, the drink as well. Maybe I'll pair the two together. Hold on. I actually wish there was a, um, if there was, like, a Japanese Switch game or, like, a Switch game that taught you Japanese, that'd be so much fun. I know there are some, like, on Steam, but I don't think I'd be able to stream it. So we have here Sakura Ramune. Japanese festival favorite Ramune is here. Famous Japanese lemonade has a cute pink color and elegant Sakura flavor you have to try. Need help opening it? Check out page six. And for the last snack, we have Pringles Japanese Fried Chicken Flavor. Japanese fried, fried chicken is a must eat at Hanami parties and we are bringing it to you in a limited edition Pringles form. Made with plenty of onion and garlic flavoring. Yummy. Um, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and store some of these snacks back into the box so that I can put it in the, in the, um, uh, I want to save some of it. There is, I have one. It's a J JRPG where the enemies are kanji. You need to know the English to defeat them. That's amazing. <laughs> I've got each of the three Japanese languages. That, uh, that is like the writing systems that is like that's awesome i wish there was a switch one apparently there is a um there's a kickstarter switch game that i saw um i don't know if it actually i think it's already done i don't know if it succeeded um what is song is this this is so good <laughs> What song is this? Oh, it's from A Hat in Time. I kind of want to play that game. Where is this song? I need to save it. I need to add it to a playlist or something. Where are you? Uh-oh. Wait for it. Okay, we're gonna listen to it again because I can't find it. Even the start of it is so good. What is this? Ah, there you are. Okay. Save to low five beats. Um, even though it's not really low five, but uh, it teaches you how to write and pronounce. That's awesome. I would love a game like that. We could have just like language learning Tuesdays <laughs> and just. Play that game. Okay. So we have some fried chicken, I believe. What was it? Um. Um. Where is this? 
Yeah, fried chicken flavor. Ooh, they're like little mini Pringles. Hmm. I'm gonna open this up too. It's actually been a while since I've opened one of these up. Oh gosh. Hmm. Does this taste like fried chicken is the question. Hold on. Okay. If I recall, I just need to do this and then, woo. Oh gosh, it's going everywhere. Oh gosh! The Sakura! <laughs> okay, we're good. It stopped fizzing. It stopped fizzing. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, don't worry about it. We're fine! I think I got most of it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> skull, skull! I've. That's a, I forget that's also an Aussie thing. Oh, man. I have some videos I need to show you that I found. I will definitely need to wash my hands before <laughs> playing the game. They're all sticky now. Hmm. Ah, ah. I didn't feel my mouth. Only took two Nook Mile tickets left. Are you looking for a villager? Interesting. One. I have to say. Yeah, stitches. That's right. We'll say. I like Sakura flavored things. I think they're really tasty. Hmm. So, so, yeah. Skull, skull. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Um. Did you see the, um, um, I can't remember where it was in Australia, but it was like a police video. I feel disrespected. <laughs> um, I saw an, an Aussie April Fool's Day thing from the police where, um, huh. Now, why didn't that work? The thing is open. Oh, you know what? I opened it, but I did not connect it to my OBS. So, Shadow. And it was like, um, thank you for the hydrate, Shadow. It was like a, um, it was like their canine unit, but it's like, um, they're they're starting a new unit and it's like a, a bunch of little small dogs. It's it's pretty hilarious. Um Happy Easter Shadow, how are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna save these Pringles. I'm gonna finish this Ramune. What is the burn it all down? The screen gets engulfed in flames. Um, probably would have been perfect for when I started spilling all of my Ramune um, all over everything. Um, <laughs> uh, it's great, great for if <laughs> it's great if chat's mad or if things are going just poorly. Um, <laughs> if my stream starts messing up, it's perfect. Um, let's see though. What more of this? Hmm. It's so good. It's very fizzy, as you guys could tell, as it exploded everywhere into my desk. Hmm. 
It's a nice pink flavor, or pink, not flavor. Pink, um, color. You know that word. <clears throat> that stuff is so good. And this one, this is Sakura flavored. Cherry blossoms bloom, happiness comes. Oh, I missed that. Can you do it again? No, thank you. I'd like to keep... I'd like to keep the rest of this for myself and off the desk. I had this kid who'd bring soda and Pocky and sell them for a dollar? That's awesome. He's an entrepreneur. Hmm. It tastes really good. It tastes very good. It's kind of a weird flavor to describe, though. It's, like, kind of sweet. It kind of reminds... I mean, it's kind of... There is, like, a hint of it that reminds me of, like, the um, rose um, Turkish Delight that I was eating earlier this week, where it has, like, a very flowery taste to it, which makes sense. When school is in real life, imagine that. <laughs> it's also weird that this cap is green. It's almost perfect green for the green screen. Um, uh, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, for the rest of you guys who've kind of been popping in here, how are you, how's your weekend going? Um, we are going to be transitioning into Later Alligator here in a second. Thank you for um, watching me open up this, this snack pack. If you guys like that kind of stuff, I mean, we can do more. Like, I can get more of these types of boxes in the future, and we can open it up. Try out some snacks. Hmm. Getting some amiibo cards? Are they the um, Sanrio ones? Or are they uh, like just different villagers that you've been wanting? Ooh, who are you getting? Oh, it's random. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, so it is just some random cards. Interesting. The little sphere keeps on blocking the <laughs> the exit. I need more of this. Get out of the way. Am I supposed to? Nope. How do I keep you from getting in the way? Hmm. Nom nom. Born. To be ignorant. <clears throat> Welcome, how are you doing? It's a series one, so I want either Kurt, Bob, or Fauna. Nice. Nice, nice. I hope you get one of those. <laughs> That's fair. Um, well, all those would be good. I actually kind of wanted Bob on my island for a bit. But, I think Bob is smug? What is Bob? Villager. Bob. Oh, wait, Bob is lazy? What? How did I not know that? I, Bob can fit on my island then. Oh. Um... For some reason, I thought Bob was, like, normal or smug or something. Okay, this song is okay, but it's also not. Raymond is smug? 
Yeah, he is. I guess maybe I was getting confused with that. Um... I don't mind having Boomer and Bob on my island. Yeah, no one minds having Boomer on their island. Okay. Um, I am going to, I'm gonna have to go also wash my, not wash my desk, but clean it off the, later. Um, we are going to switch over to later alligator. Um, oops. Uh, so if you guys were not here, well, I'll explain later alligator in here in a second. Let me go wash my hands because they've, they've got Ramune on it. Um, and I'll be right back. So... Where is, uh, there it is. Boop. I'll be right back. I'm muted. I'm back. <laughs> oh, he has stopped leaving Charon, the Charon charge. I I completely forgot. You know, I thought the chair wanted a little bit of a break today. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, we are going to now switch over to uh what? Excuse me? Okay. That should be my switch now. I don't know if it was doing this for you guys, but for me, it didn't look like it was actually switching over. It would switch to my switch, and then it would immediately go back to just me. I don't know. Runner, welcome. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, how's it going? Thank you for those bits. How are you doing? Looks like I came in just in time for some gator silliness. You did. We just finished opening up the, um, uh, just finished opening up the, uh, Tokyo treats box. Went through all of it, tried some snacks. Um, and now we will be switching over to al later alligator. If you guys were not here, um, and did not watch the VOD, uh, later alligator is a hilarious, um, uh, it is a hilarious, and Balto, welcome. Um, it is a hilarious <sighs> mystery point and click adventure uh. game. One of the funniest games I have played, like the, the writing in it is just so good. Um, I do. Have, I will have to apologize because um, uh, I will do the voices for the characters, and 
my voice acting is not great. We don't even have to watch this again, but we're going to. I mean, look at the, the animation style, it's just perfect. And what's kind of cool, this is a side, you'll, you'll see that when we get to different areas, the voice acting range, I know, <laughs> I know. Um, when you get to certain areas, I feel like the camera, I mean, camera, it's all drawn, but like, the way, where they place how you're looking is just really neat. Anyway, I will warn you, um, well, one, we're pretty close. I feel like we're pretty close to the end. I don't think it's going to last for super long. But, um, I'll warn you that uh, I'm so bad at voices that it is very likely that I will... We come across the same character from last time. They will very likely be voiced differently. Um, <laughs> because that is the type of consistency that we strive here for here. Um, Pat, who is the alligator on the screen right now, I can, I will, I can do his voice normally. Uh, I slip it, slip into it on a normal day, just by myself. Um, so, that's fine. Everyone else, though, might be a little different from last week, so I apologize if you are a stickler for continuity. But, other than that, I can't help you out there. <laughs> We're just, we just try our best, that's all we ask for. So, last where we left off. I'll, I'll give you guys a little catch up. Pat is concerned. Um, because it seems as though his family might be in, like a part of some kind of mob family. He believes that he is going to be snuffed out tonight. Um, because of something that he, he said. He's really bad at keeping secrets. Uh, he's really bad at like saying hush hush. And he, he believes he let something slip. And so now his family is going... They're planning something. You know, so they're planning something. Um, we've talked to, ev so far, a lot of people from his family. We've, we've traveled around um, Alligator, New York City. And everyone, all of them seem pretty nice. Um, they do seem to mention that there is an event tonight for Pat. But they will not tell us what it is. I have a couple of ideas of what I think is going on here. But... Um, yeah, that's kind of it. We've talked to a lot of people. Uh, Pat's dad, I think, is hilarious. I wish we could go back and just do that part again. But let us begin. Let's see what what today has for us. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, we were in... We traveled to this area of town. We talked to um, this guy. Um, we helped him, uh, swat some buggos. Let's see. Also, do I need to move my camera? I think I do. I can't remember where it was. <clears throat> Let's see who are the people in the car. <clears throat> Prince Valentino. Prince Valentino. Also, I have a... So there... There's like a family tree thing that we have to do. And I have been... Um, marking down who is related to who. So this is Prince Valentino. I also need to move my camera again. Put me down here. Uh, we're building a chocolate Easter basket out of Kit Kats. That's amazing. Please post pictures of it. This is Prince Valentino. We met Skids Valentino. Um... Skids Valentino is cousins with Giovanni. He's second cousins with Pat, so Prince Valentino might also be the second cousin. Um, I say, you there, vagrant. Princess Valentino. Are they actually... Is that their names? Or titles? Well, princess, we could do... Well, I don't know how... Uh, well, we can do the queen voice, I guess. <laughs> Hold on. I've, I've kind of forgotten what the, the my queen voice sounded like. Let's just, let's just go with... Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what comes out. Brother! I don't think they're a vagrant. They got that suit on. 
perhaps a hobo king? Hum, you may be right, sister. You there, hobo king, come here a moment. Honestly, brother, what are we even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing the air outside this seedy watering hole is making my scales loose. Their highly regarded luster. I agree, sister. But you know as well as I that we have to find an unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary. So anyone at the estate was out. Besides, you know how weary I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to this stranger with the briefcase then? Yes, yes. As long as it's not someone that gives me the dreadful horror of being known. Alright, now we can ask him some questions. Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Indeed, sister. Perhaps with that pinstripe style, they've spent the last 30 or so years locked in a storage closet with their fingers in their ears. And their other fingers in their eyes. And fingers yet still in their nose. Obviously, since I released that perfume this year. Obviously. I am Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. And this is my brother, Prince Valentino. He's also the heir since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't get test, they couldn't test for that gene. And you know it, Prince. Why? He's our second cousin. Okay, yeah, so they're second cousins. Put that in the notes. That's like a cousin, but thankfully a little more removed from your gene pool. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side, much like your personality, sister. Oh ho ho, Prince. You're such a cut up. Much like how I cut up your invitation to the Met Gala this year and fed it to the cat. What? But the theme this year was the Monopoly mascot. And you know Mittens the Third is on a strict diet for her failing kidneys. The event. Well now, you're going to have to be a little more specific. I attend a lot of events, you know. Balls, galas, Exhibitions, princes, unfortunate performance art shows. If you are speaking of last week, when I walked the runway for Gill's Fashion Fishery Rubber Pants for Moist Alligators, I'll have you know I got a write-up in a magazine spread for highlights for children. Anyway, <laughs> if you're talking about tonight, we have no qualms spilling the whole secret to you. That is, if only you do us the smallest of favors. You see, our beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison-related complications. You know, the natural way. We're splitting up our shared inheritance, but we could really use a mediator. And someone to protect my beautiful face from dear sister's punches. It's true, I punch super duper hard. If only we had some help dividing of daddy's precious possessions. I'm sure we could tell you the the information you seek. So will you help us, or do you have Hobo King duties to attend to? Alright, minigame time. Split the perks between these jerks. Divine twin inheritance. <laughs> Press A to open up the checklist and assign each item to one of the two Valentino twins. You can't leave until both twins are happy, so pay attention to the indicator bar. Well, let, let's get on with this. Daddy's not getting any more alive. I'm already bored. A mink stole. I simply couldn't. Oh, I simply couldn't. My conscience wouldn't allow it. It clashes terribly with everything I own and I'd be up all night worrying about it. Okay. Well, wait, so does that, does that mean that goes to him? Oh, cozy. Just the kind of thing I like. Warm and made with, made through with the suffer of another. Okay, so that... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, armor. This would be a... Uh, this would be smashing with great-grandmother's claymore. 
Literally. Hat? She want a hat? Oh, the secret society hat. I'd wonder if it had been lost after the SWAT raids. Wine? A fine vintage from the year I was born. Daddy was saving it up for when I became an admirable member of society. Good thing he died and I can just take it. <laughs> vinyl? Is he like vinyl? These seem rather large for my multiple Blu-ray players. Yes, I have more than one. I have two eyes, don't I? Photo? She does not like the photo. A signed photo of the president! To be rather straight with you, I didn't vote for him or that gold chain. So that goes to him. Well, it's a conversation piece, I suppose. Painting? This will look great. This will look great placed delicately behind me for my upcoming photo on the cover of Vanity Flare fashion magazine for mean lady alligators. Sack of cash. Ah, but father's beloved cartoonish sack of money. It reminds me so much of him, cold, hard, and beneath my flippers. I hear ashes are replacing charcoal as the new go-to face mask for keeping scales glossy. Oh, gosh. Does he want the crystal orb? Mother is rash, or is rather into these types of things as well. You might say ironic mysticism runs in the family, like bloodlust or beautiful knees. Parrot? Bernard! I spent hours training him to eat $50 bills in front of our governess as she cried. Sweet childhood memories. Sports car? Pass! I'm already the fastest guy in, <laughs> in ANYC. If you check my online dating profile review, so... Okay, I think they're both even, then. Great grandmother's claymore, right, rightful place is with me in my penthouse. Or possibly in my ex-boyfriend, Blake, the house music DJ. Done. Dunsies. We got a family badge. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's all of daddy's things. And I feel quite pleased with my hole. As uh, and me as well. Why I'm such I'm in such a good mood. I'm almost feeling feelings again. Seriously, brother, how pedestrian. I know, please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start Oh, please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars. Or whatever they eat these days. I guess we should thank you, Pinstri I guess we should thank you, Pinstripes. It's cause the bubble doesn't move. And to tell you what, and tell you what you want to know about the event. But we won't. Your reward is smiling as our smiling snoots. Now get out of our, out of, <clears throat> now get out of our car before we ring the police. Oh ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho. That's still him. Oh ho ho ho. <laughs> Alright, so we helped those guys. I don't think we talked to this guy. Who's this? Raul. Hey. You got a light? Not for, no, not for my cigarette. I mean, in general. It's kind of dark out there, out here. And I've got a spooky ghost allergy. You ain't seen any, right? That's it, that's awful. Okay, let's go inside the very adult bar. Is there anything else we can click on? Luck. Luck. We talked to these guys. Luck. 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 They were annoyed by us. that? No. We need to check the alley at some point. Professional, I know. There's a person right here. We found a puzzle piece. Another puzzle piece. We're getting so many puzzle pieces right now. How many puzzle pieces do we have? 
13. No, we have 15 of 48. All right, let's go left to right. Bobby Blue Eyes. Hey, what you staring at, chump? Put those peepers away before I yank them clear out your skull. What? You think you're a tough guy or something? You think you can roll in here in a pinstripe suit? Not so, not dissimilar to my own and share a passing glance with me? Well, you've got another thing coming to you, pally. Ain't nothing good. Now, these parts, I'm the toughest guy you're gonna meet. So don't think you can sidle into my bar. Lock eyes casually with me across the room. You'll be sorry when I pull those babies out and make them into twin gnocchis. I'll let you guess what the red sauce is, but you ain't gonna like it. The name's Bobby Blue Eyes. Don't you forget it, because it's going to be etched into your tombstone. Wait, on your tombstone would be your your name. My, my name would be... Hey, just because I got confused about our society's rituals surrounding mortality doesn't mean you can look away. We're having a conversation here. Pat, that little jabroni is my first cousin once removed. First cousin once removed? Hold on, Bobby Blue Eyes. First cousin once removed. Isn't that a second cousin? Right? What is that? Anyway. Kind of like how I'm about to remove your eyes, as I mentioned previously in the conversation. Do you think the red sauce thing was too far? Maybe it was a bit too far. I'm testing out some new tough guy material tonight, so it's, it's a bit hit. It's a bit hit or miss. It's a bit hit or miss. There we go. Can't read the event. Bobby ain't spilling family secrets. Oh, that's it. Unless you prove you're tough to me. The toughest guy in Alligators in New York City. It ain't gonna be easy though. And I'll make sure I'll make sure of that. So let's let's you and me play a game called Three Finger Filet. Or you two chicken. Mirror this cuckoo without getting a boo-boo. Knife to meet you. Let's play. Carefully watch how Bobby stabs the table. Copy his pattern on your side. Be careful to avoid your fingies. You ready for this tough guy? What was that? Watch me one more time. That was my bet. Wow, you did that four times. That's impressive. But how many more times do you think you can pull that off? Not bad. But let's up the ante a bit, shall we? Oh, gosh. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? What is that? That knife is terif terrific. Yes, perfect for a tough guy. Uh, let's keep, let's keep going. Yeah, he's using a spoon.
Hey, not bad, kid. Got all the way to six. I bet you think you're a real tough guy with those increasingly ludicrous knives you, you, you weirdly had on your personage. But check this out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Owie, my thingy. Could you put a band-aid on it, please? <laughs> Get ready. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Gotta blow on it! Gotta blow on it! Whew. Whew. That's it! I don't wanna play tough guys with you no more! I ruined it by going too far, and now look what happened! I may never play bass guitar again! Poor, poor Bobby Blue Eyes. You're a real tough customer, I'll give you that. The event is a happy thing, so leave these, those preposterous knives at home. Go, leave me with my band-aid and my misery. Oh, ouchie. Unbelievable. Oh. From Pat. Hey, it's me again. It's Pat. It's almost four, and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes? And the, the wearing of them they're in? A, a couple of things. Perfect! Could you meet, meet me at my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters or college-age canvassers in cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy pretending to be a statue outside 4th Street. I'm on my way. Oh man, we have to go. Just take us right there. I wonder if we can talk to... The mom over there. Hello. I don't think so. Hmm. Nervous dairy. Good, good, good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have, have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? Gargon, fetch, fetch us your... Garçon! That's what it is. Garçon! Fetch us your favorite, finest novelty wine based on a popular sci-fi television show. Nice suit. I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. Why, just last year at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as my own character of my own creation. Dareless, great wizard of the north. My brother Mickey. Oh, I think that might be a thing. Nervous Dairy. Brother. Brothers with Dairy. Oh, I'm sorry, Mickey. Help me put it together. Though he thought, it, though he did did get it a bit slimy. I'm Dairy. Known as the Terror of the East Side in most Magic's The Happening card game circles. On campus, I'm known as Terror of the AP Biolab, or the one with that haircut. Oh, I found a puzzle piece. Pat is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play Dungeons and Dragons with. Oh, there's not even, not even a funny name for that, it's just Dungeons and Dragons. The first being my internet friend, Carl, whose dad got rich bitcoin mining. Pat's a bard, so you know, pretty party useless. Great singing voice, though. He can really wail on that juice harp. Yeah, it's a party. What? Am I not supposed to say that? Got a family badge? No minigame? Huh? You're leaving already? Well, safe travels, my fellow traverser of the mortal plane. Perhaps we'll meet again in another realm. Or on an internet forum for role-playing. Okay, let's see. Anything else? to the waiter. Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. He also asked me to warn you to knock first in case he was wearing pants. But not to say that second part out loud. Kindly forget what I just said and come with me. 
I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. Thanks, bub. If you'd be so kind as to follow me along this hallway, we should arrive shortly. Please don't left and right in the hallways. He's just staring at me. Oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet we had a biohazardous incident. Again. Just staring at me while we walk down the hallway. Thank you for your patience, esteemed guest. We have arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you, please just knock, in case he's... Have a journey of a day! <laughs> Welcome back! I was just trying on some... Nothing, I wasn't doing anything, actually. So, so, have, have you talked to more of my family? Found out any secret... Plans? You think they're throwing me a... No, no, you're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Plus, it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? You can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday. That's what I always say. Well, I say it sometimes, like, w once a year. N no way they're definitely putting together a systematic plan. No way they're definitely putting together a systematic plan to end my moderate to small life. But I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you talk to a few more people, you'll find out something we can, we can really use. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. I see I'm having a problem. A, sh a shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them. But I figured if, if I did tonight, maybe I'd have better luck hot-footing it out to- uh, hot-footing it out of the event to safety if I need to. The issue isn't my, my us usual shoeless, pantless nature, but the drawers where I actually keep all my things. Last week, my Nana Rue gifted me an antique armoire from her shop as an early birthday gift present. It's big, spacious, practical, and so super haunted that it's leaving a weird stain on the parquet flooring just by existing. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and whenever I open up the drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? Peruse for shoes. Soul searching. Open these suspicious drawers to find a pair of shoes for Pat. Be careful. If Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. After each round, the contents of the drawers will shuffle around. Spooky. Oh, not a problem, Thomas. Hel help me find my shoes, please. Anxiety. Oh, that's his anxiety level. Okay. Let's, um... Okay. Hey, a, sh a shoe. Let's find the other. Hey, a shoe, let's find the other. Okay, so I think we're trying to... Uh-oh, a candle. Okay. Spooky mirror. Gross stuff. Oh. Hey, a shoe, let's find the other. Okay, so this is kind of a memory game, it looks like. Great, we, we made a pair. Shoe. Red shoe, top right. Okay, those are just bugs. Okay, this is haunted. Oh. Normal shoe. Hey, a shoe. Let's, let's find the other. That's just blood. Okay. Okay, red shoe. Red shoe. Great, we, we made a pair. Buggos. The blood. Regular shoe. It's just a straight up ghost. Gross 
stuff. <laughs> Where's that other shoe? Okay. And I believe it's... There we go. Woo! That was close. My shoes! We win! Can't believe it! You found all three pairs of shoes that I own! Every shoe kind is represented here. Brown, sneaky, and tropical. You know, looking at them now is kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should just go bear flipper like I usually do. <sighs> Sorry, I I'm just so nervous, I'm not thinking straight. Sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I, I really, I really appreciate that you did. Oh jeez. I'm so glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. <laughs> I'm getting all mushy. You, you, you get back out there and dig up some more dirt, and I'll text you just before. The, the event. S see you later, investigator. <laughs> Runner, I, I literally do slip into this voice sometimes when just kind of talking. Um, <laughs> it's kind of my... I don't want to disturb anybody, but <laughs> I want to interject for a second. Uh, <laughs> that's why it sounds too natural. Charlene! I remember you did a voice for Charlene, but I cannot remember. I don't mind dining alone. It's serene. It's trying a meal with... Just me, myself, and I. The kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anybody else. Uh, she's just... Wait, how did I do his voice again? Oh, man, it, it... Jet talking normally, I'd actually... His online persona voice. You'd actually like his online persona voice? Um... What? How did I... I just did this guy's voice and I cannot remember how to do it. That's how bad... <laughs> that's how bad this is. She's just so cool and strong. That's it. That's great. We can leave. <laughs> didn't have to even do it for that long. I want to talk to Slick Mickey again. Uh, but let's... We need to talk to the mom. Oh my, you're back already? Why, hello again, dear. Did you manage to get to take any family photos? Okay, this is where this comes in. Plug the bam to encounter this game. Um. Uh. Oh, like, this voice is my fake voice. Your voice acting voice is your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Present all day on an alligator portrait, then drag it onto the family tree. There's no way to know. Come back anytime to see your collection. Some of these. And this is why I took notes. Okay. Um. This is his dad. Where's. Okay. Two Ton Tony, 51. Occupation, retired dad, love and life. Uh, this is his brother? Right? Gentle Lorenzo, 21, team captain of Trivia Night at the Brodega. Um, I don't remember who this is. Maybe this is Skids Valentino. Second cousin. Would, wait, no, this would be... Skids Valentino. So it's not... Because this would be... Wait. Her parents. Maybe it is somewhere over here. Skids Valentino, age 11, helping out Mrs. Gio Hansen on Thursdays. Then that means these, I think they're also second cousins, right? 
Prince Valentino was in that one commercial. Where's Princess Valentino? Gadfly Socialite. This is who? Is this Giovanni? Oh, this thing. Little Giovanni. Welcome back, Secret Life. Age 12. Occupation, puberty. I... Oh, this is the person I just got. This is just like a rando. Isn't it? Nervous Derry is brothers with Mickey. I don't know who Mickey is. I have not met a Mickey. Or is that Mickey? Oh, that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. It should be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Slick Mickey. 26, con Occupation, Conspiracy Theory YouTuber. This is uh, Bobby Blue Eyes. First cousin once removed. That's not like a... What is a first cousin once removed? To who? To Pat. Pat's right here. Is it, that's not a second cousin? Oh, apparently it goes there. First cousin is first cousin. Once removed means then they're up or down a level, not at the same level. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay, well, I found a spot. Uh, very busy, very cool business guy. Age 46. Okay, that makes sense. He was he's on the same level as his parents, so. Uh this is Tin Lizzie, I think. Siblings with Aiden Aiden. Uh, Aiden. So my sister shares a parent with me. Right. My first cousin shares a grandparent. Once removed would be Who's Aiden? Second cousin shares a great game. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Oh, the more you know. So I don't think we've met Aiden. There we go. Ten Lizzie. Influencer. And then this is I don't think we I think they're related to somebody, but I don't think we even got like a story from them. I think we just kind of got I don't even think I know this person's name. the guitar player. Okay, so they're not a rando. But there they go. Oh, they're Aiden! Great, great, great. Perfect. Well, that makes sense. Let's remove we share a grandparent, but I am one level up or down. Interesting. I never really knew that. Um, let's see. Stinky Alley Man and Par- Oh, this is the- not- this is the, uh, the hippie guy. St uh, Stinky Alley Man and Part-Time Dumpster Diver. Age 29. Okay, so that's all. We're caught up. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Can we just talk to Slick Mickey again? Ain't nobody can follow these ferocious fingies. Oh, that's what it says. Sag. <laughs> I thought I think he's Oh, who are you? Will Fifth? No, I'm sorry. What? Fifth William the Fourth. <laughs> oh boy. That sign flowers 
That sign flower looks as tasty as ever. I come here most days to stare at her. But I usually leave when someone calls the alligator police. Or I slip up and fall down in a rather overwrought fashion. Ah, because there's a puzzle piece. John Johnny's. Let's see if there's... I thought it changed for a second, but I don't think. Okay. Um, let's go back. Pretty went to the arcade. It's 5.15. We were in the unsavory part of town. a puzzle piece here. I just realized we could look around. Alright, let's go back. We talked to Blue Eye, Bobby Blue Eyes. The knife. Leave me alone unless you want a knuckle sandwich. Seriously, do you want it? It was the boss special of the day, but I ain't got the heart to eat it now, because I, because of nervous guts. Anyways, what do you want? I don't really have time to talk to someone right now. I'm waiting for somebody. Well, maybe they're a no-show. People call me the knife on account of my design containing shop edges. <laughs> and how I poked my eye out in a freak jack-o'-lantern carving accident back in the fourth grade. And cause I'll cut you! Out of extra curri- <laughs> Out of extracurriculars. I catch you in the hall without a pass. I'm a guidance counselor for Miss Petty Snoots School for Snobby and Gifted Middle Schoolers. The nickname is just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. Yeah, I know, Pat. Who's asking? Oh, you are. Right. Sorry, I'm- I'm a little socially anxious for you. Basically, all of the time. I've known Pat since high school when the seniors got paired up with a freshman buddy to run the three-legged race. As the gym teacher tied the rope around our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. Started running like a maniac downtown the football field with my gym pants still attached to him. Somehow I... That's hard to say. Somehow I got the other nickname, Birthmark Butt. Since then, we've been good pals despite it. Love that one. Look, you keep pestering me. Didn't I tell you I was waiting for someone? <sighs> I gotta be honest with you, I ain't really waiting for nobody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical life manner. That always seem to say the wrong thing and scare off gator and scare other gators off. But how was I supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? She looked real cool. Uh, but anyways, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I, I don't get out much. It's so hard, I just, to meet people. In a non-weird way, you know? I wish I could just practice or something. Hey, wait a minute. That ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready when the real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you up one of his weird wild goose like chases. But I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth. So, um... Maybe if you help me practice, I could help you out too? What do you say? You wanna go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me? Make him blushy by getting mushy. Mac that knife. Oh boy. Take a lonely lizard out on a practice date. Select an option to decide where to go, what to do now to end the evening. Oh boy. My voice already <laughs> is dying. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace and you can help me out there. Oh gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on, let me move.
somehow this turned into a um, a dating sim all of a sudden. <clears throat> Welcome to the hallowed halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youths. The kids are on break right now, so it's only us lonely administrators. Oh, me, I'm the lonely one. I need a big favor from you. You see, I have a meet cute tomorrow, and I, I don't know what to do or, or say or feel. My friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. I'm not usually the blind date type, but she, she says he's really dreamy. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Broad shoulders, she says. He's cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the Dojima, if you get my drift. I wonder what she told me about him. Which, what? I wonder what she told him about me. Ah, all this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like the strong, silent type, and you're cute enough that it intimidates me just a little. Please, you gotta help me practice for my big date. I need a boost of confidence, and I need it now. Yay. I mean, um, cool things. Karen arranged it all with my date. We're going on an adventure first, then out to dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? Haha, <laughs> natural laughter. So, uh, what kind of adventure would you like to take me on? Impress me. Fun day at the zoo. Oh my gosh, the the hand changed to... <laughs> it's like anime hand. Um, fun day at the zoo, a trip to the beach, and I stroll at the botanical garden. Great, let's go. Well, come on. I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. The whole school's empty, don't worry. Oh, and gee, you picked my favorite place in the whole city? You have good taste. I actually love all the trees around the school. It's a nice piece of greenery in the big city, right? Sorry, I'm breaking character. <clears throat> Here we are at the imaginary botanical garden. Look at these beautiful peonies. I hope for roses this season. There's their bloom qualities to die for. Even the rock garden looks amazing. What? You think I look amazing too? That's so sweet of you to say. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not above staying in and getting cozy. I think a first date should be really special, you know? What's this? You brought me a present, but I didn't bring you anything. Well, that is a change of pace. Old fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> nice flowers, yummy candy, a cute toy. Let's do yummy candy. Mmm, candy. I don't want to fill up before dinner, though. Thanks, but no thanks. Getting a little hungry. Do you mind if we head to dinner? A reservation? Wow, you came prepared. And dressed to impress, I see. That shirt really brings out your eyes. Was that too much? I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. You're, you're doing great, though. So where did you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Some were fancy, some were cozy, some were cool. Let's do something. Some were cool. Hey, this place is real swanky. I'm impressed. I spend all day giving advice to middle schoolers. I love my students, but they can be real cruel sometimes. The other day, one of them told me outright that I was going to get married because my jacket was ugly. It's like, hey kid, you do the best you can while you have to buy clothes on an educator's salary. Look at me. I finally, I finally get out of school and I can't stop talking about the munchkins. Um, yeah, yes, we can, we can totally change the topic to, to me. Your scales are so shiny. Your tail is so long. You have such perfect teeth. Um, thanks. You have a nice smile, too. This is me role-playing in awkward silence. Come on, my date's gotta be more charming than that. I'm going to pretend you said I was cute and move on. <laughs> I feel like I re can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. I mean, not a, not a long while, it's just it's hard for me to meet other alligators. I don't do this very often. <laughs> Stop laughing, this is, this is precisely why I wanted to practice. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm having a real good time with you. If, if you don't have any plans after dinner, want to want to come to the Spring Festival with me? You lived in Alligator, New York City for how long? And you've never been to the East River Spring Festival? 
then you have to come with me. This food, Carnival Games. And the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Flag down the waiter then. Let's get out of here. Sorry, I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in Alligator Jersey, my family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. No, no. I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time. What looks fun to you? Let's do a cultural activity. Let's play a carnival game. Let's play a carnival game. Oh, I love carnival games. Kyron told me you were pretty competitive. Not like in a bad way. I'll tell you what. If you win me that big platypus doll, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward? Win the first game, buddy, and then we'll talk. Haha, <laughs> what a night. That guy in the bear costume and all the pretty lights. You know, for a first time, you really seem to be warming up to the, uh, the festival. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know with this kind of thing. I, I, I really wanted you to have a good time. To be honest, I, I wasn't sure if you were going to come out tonight. A lot of people scared of me. Would you believe me? It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night and showing up wherever repeatedly challenging the same person to endless street brawls. S slow, slow zoom in. Slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all who stand in my way of my personal goals. Hey, <laughs> it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me, I know the perfect place to watch. What'd I tell you? The view from here is incredible, right? I... I had fun tonight. I hope, I hope you did too. For Karen's sake, I mean... She takes matchmaking really seriously and... She's been hounding me for months to finally meet you. Uh, why am I talking about Kara now? Come on, just say the right thing. I guess, I guess what I'm really trying to say here is, I'm, I'm so glad I met you. You seem like a great person, and it was cool hanging out. We should do this again sometime. <laughs> what? Gotta retry. Hey, Misa, how's it going? Welcome to. Later, alligator. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace. You can help me out there. All right, let's try this again. We messed up a couple of options. Welcome to the hallowed halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youths. The kids are on break right now, so it's only us lonely administrators. Me, I'm the lonely one. I need a big favor from you. You see, I have a meet cute tomorrow, and I don't know what to do or say or feel. Friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. Not usually the blind date type, but she's really, she says he's really dreamy. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Broad shoulders. She says he's a cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she says he's a real dragon in the, in the Trojima. If you get my drift. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what she told him about me. Ah, all this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like the strong, silent type, and you're, and you're cute enough that it inti intimidates me just a little. Please, you gotta help me practice for my big date. I need a boost of confidence, and I need it now. Yay. I mean, I'm cool. That, thanks. Karen arranged it with, all with my date. We're gonna go on an adventure first, then out to dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? <laughs> Natural laughter. So, uh, what kind of adventure would you like to take me on? Impress me. All right, we know... Botanical garden. Great, let's go. Well, come on. I can't pretend. Blah, blah, blah. The whole school's empty. Don't worry. OMG, my, you picked my favorite place in the whole city? You have good taste. I actually love all the trees around the school. It's a nice piece of greenery in the big city, right? Sorry, I'm breaking character. <clears throat> Here we are at the imaginary botanical garden. Look at these beautiful peonies. Hope the roses are in season. They're blue qualities to die for. Even the rock garden looks amazing. What? You think I look amazing too? That's so sweet of you to say. I'm, I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch TV. Uh, watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not above staying in and getting cozy. But I think a first date should be should be really special, you know. Hmm, what's this? 
you brought me a present? But I didn't bring you anything. Well, that is a change of pace. Old fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme. Uh, not yummy candy. Let's do nice flowers this time. Okay. Ah, oh, they're lovely, thank you. Karen didn't warn me I'm going out with such a charmer. I'm getting a little hungry, do you, do you mind if we had to dinner? A reservation? Wow, you came prepared. And dressed to impress, I see. That shirt really brings out your eyes. Is that too much? I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. You're, you're, you're doing great, though. So where do you want to eat? I heard you're quite the booty. I think somewhere cool was the good option. Hey, this place is real swanky. I'm impressed. I spend all day giving advice to middle schoolers. I love my students, but they can be real cruel sometimes. The other day, one of them told me outright that I wasn't going to get married because my jacket was ugly. It's like, hey, kid, you do the best you can when you have to buy clothes on an educated salary. Look at me. I finally get, I finally get out of school, and I can't talk about the munchkins. Um, um, yes, we can totally change the topic to me. Okay, perfect teeth was bad. Your scales are so shiny. Okay, there we go. I'm so happy you noticed. It's been so long since I've been on a date that Karen took me out to get them polished. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into being pampered usually, but now I'm glad I did it. I could definitely get used to all the attention, especially from you. You know, the scales have a beautiful shine too. You must spend hours maintaining them. Yeah, yeah you, you do look like you spend some time at the gym. Stop, stop me if I'm being too forward, but I feel like I can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. I mean, not, not, not a long while. It's, it's just hard for me to meet other alligators. I don't do this very often. Stop, stop laughing. This, this is precisely why I wanted to practice. What I'm trying to say is I'm having a real good time with you. If you don't have any plans after dinner, want to come to the spring festival with me? You lived in Alligator, New York City for how long? And you've never been to the East River City Spring Festival? Then you have to come with me. There's food, carnival games, the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Flag down that waiter then. Let's get out of here. Sorry I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in Alligator, Jersey, my family would dr drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. No, no. I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time. What looks fun to you? Was Let's Play a Carnival game good? I can't remember. I think so. Yeah, okay. Oh, I love carnival games. Karen told me you were pretty competitive. No, not, not like that in a bad way. I'll tell you what. If you win me that big platypus doll, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward? Win the game first, buddy, and then we'll talk. Okay, that should've, we should've won this now. Aha, what a night. That guy in the bear costume, and all the pretty lights. You know, for a first time, you really seem to be warming up to the festival. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know with this kind of thing. I... I really wanted you to have a good time. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I was gonna come out tonight. A lot of people were scared of me. Would you believe me? It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night and showing up wherever repeatedly challenging the same person to endless street brawls. While slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who'll fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all who stand in my way of my personal goals. <laughs> it, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me, I know the perfect place to watch. What I tell you, the view from here is incredible, right? I... I had fun tonight. I, I hope you did too. Uh, for, for Karen's sake, I mean, she's she takes matchmaking really seriously, and she's been hounding me for months to finally meet it, to meet you. Uh, why am I talking about Karen right now? Come on, just say the right thing. I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to say here is tonight was so special. Thank you for that hydrate party arc. Tonight was so special. I really wanted to keep this going. Done my being a little old fashioned. Out with me. Hey, we win! <laughs> hey, party art. Alligator Joycey. 
<laughs> this character looks super weird. Yeah, well, it it transitioned to like an like a um, like an anime um, love love sim. What's that called? Dating sim. That's what it is. We have welcomed people 133 times. Imagine that. Um, hope things are going well. We had to just replay this game so we could win. Wow. That was actually kind of freaking magical. If I'm being totes real with you. <sighs> wow, I, I really feel like I learned a lot, actually. Hey, we got his badge. I feel kind of funny now. Kind of flappy in my guts. M must be that knuckle sandwich come back to haunt me. <laughs> Yeah, that's the ticket. That's it. I don't really know a lot about the event, but I know that I'll at least be there. On account of being invited by Pat's mom. Maybe we can hang out at the event. Not like outside of it, like like it's a thing. Haha, <laughs> natural laugh. Oh. Unknown. Who is this unknown caller? Hey, city pal. Just wondering, since we've been texting a bunch, um, have you heard of 9th Street Station at all? Have Ah, uh, yeah. Didn't think so. It's, uh, it's been closed for a few years. Not a lot going on there since then. It's still got some of the most beautiful architecture of all the underground stops in the city, in my opinion. I really like to go there, actually. I was just thinking, um, if you ever wanted to stop by there, maybe I could meet you. No pressure or anything. You'd, you'd probably have to really help a conductor out to even get access. It's pretty underground. Raffle. Okay, I was actually on the floor that time, but I'd fallen unrelated to laughing. Okay, uh, anyway, haha, <laughs> don't worry about 9th Street, you can forget what I said. If you want. Interesting. <laughs> Let's see who this is. Linda. Also, what was the other person's name? I forget. Uh, <laughs> oh, thanks, party guard. <laughs> Linda. Oh, wait! Uh, uh, I'm waiting for a blind date. So if you see anyone that looks like a XX Gandalf Da Bay XX, let me know. <laughs> I feel like that's the night. It's probably the night. Uh, they don't even know. They don't even know. They're right there. Come on. They're tall, handsome, and, and a very successful lawyer, just like me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe it's this guy. Very tall. So let's talk to the bartender. Terry. <laughs> uh, what's Terry's name? Um, let's just go with. <laughs> I feel like my my like Jersey New York accent is kind of being it's, it's my default now at this point. I'm in the way. I'm in the way. Up we go. Here. Um, I've not seen you around here before. Thank you. I've never a face like that. So distinct and clearly visible. Oh, that's it. That was it. I wasted that voice. Just for that. Okay, you move on. Tall Jared. Oh, hey. I didn't see you down there. Can you move about two centimeters to the right? The placement of my eyes is particularly wacky. I'm waiting for a call, but my phone has been pretty dinked up lately. Hold on, let's write down Tall Jared. I need to move my camera again. Tall Jared. Oh look, there's Dance Dance in the back. I'm waiting for a call, but my phone has been pretty dinked up lately. I wonder if it'll even come in. Maybe I should ask the bartender to use the phone here. Oh, that's not going to work since I stored the number I need here in my broken phone. How did anyone even get by before modern cell phone technology? How did they send each other messages or watch videos about 
people drinking a gallon of milk and then throwing up. I guess I'll have to write letters now and film myself barfing on VHS. Just like the pilgrims would have. Folks call me Tall Jared. I don't really get it though. Honestly, I'm not even the tallest Jared that I personally know. Yeah, that, let that info sink in for a while. I can see your imagination running wild in your extremely visible eyes. Pat the alligator? That's my that's my little cousin. All my cousins are little to me, even the older ones. Okay, little cousin. He says. Pat, however, is particularly small. Maybe that's why he's so skittish? A guy that tiny could slip into a crack anytime, or get lost in a medium-sized mouse hole. Like a, bo a bo borrower. B borrower? Is that... Like a borrower or something. I don't get that. Oh, you're going to that too? I'd tell you more about it, but the sad truth is I jotted down all the deets in my phone here, but the dang thing has been on the fritz for over a week now. Ever since I got back from that ghastly mansions of the rich and dead tour I did on my vacation, what's really ghastly is the distribution of wealth among the populace and the dedulous. Uh, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. My phone is my life, literally. I don't even I don't have a richer in, inner existence or anything. It's mostly all saved on here in the form of a dream journal and pictures of good breakfasts I've had. I don't know how much of a tech person you are, but do you think you can take a look? His phone's on the fritz, it's super the pits. Ghost in the cell. <laughs> That's funny. There's something fishy about tall Jared's flip phone. Investigate his app, his apps and files to find the source of the mysterious malfunctions. It went on the fritz a couple of weeks ago when I went on vacation. Can you fix whatever's wrong? My phone is my lifeline to everyone else. Sometimes tall Jared is too tall to hear the voices down there. Alright. Noties. Oh wow, just uh, warning you, some of my noties are pretty personal. Game ideas. I'm not working on a video game, I just thought these would be some cool ideas for some. A spooky game about three kids in a bad summer camp. A cute game where a sweet knight who gets to escort four hot princesses down a mountain. A silly mystery game about alligators in the city. Too much work. A dramatic game about mecha pilots fighting over the fate of humanity and kissing. Is it too late to check if there's embarrassing stuff in my noties? It's probably too late. That's fine. You're, you're fine. Groceries. Three kinds of muffins and good breakfast? Tall Jared, you're getting greedy. Greedy for breakfast. Crisp rices. <laughs> Large ham, muffins, blueberry, branberry, bug, acai. Paper towels, cleaning spray, dirtying spray. Good breakfast. Sandwich bread, peanut bubber, small ham. <laughs> Dream journal. Uh, I don't remember dreaming about being hungry. Did I write that? I was in the woods and I was running on all fours and there was a monster chasing me. I'm at school and everyone is making fun of me because I forgot all math. I am hungry. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and except, uh, and except my father is looking back at me. He turns into sand and now I'm holding two hams. I have fish hands and it's the best dream ever. Can I write a new note? See, I told you, my phone was acting up. Error code 09590A. Ghost! Unable to add new notes. Please contact support. Customer support. Okay. I used to be proud of how much I could remember, but now it's like, I as well write it down on the little computer I carry around with me everywhere I go. Video time. When I get really stressed, I watch soothing videos. It calms me. I started watching one when my phone started acting weird. Do you think it's related? Alligator Sensory Meridian Response, ASMR. Hi, wow, thanks for watching my channel. Sorry I didn't upload last week. I really, I just really, okay, that's it. When Train. This is the third train schedule app I've tried, but I'm still late all the time. Soon? 
<laughs> hey, Cap, how's it going? Okay. Thing we can click on their pictures. You're going to look through my photos? Should I? Oh, okay, no, I'm sure there's nothing too embarrassing in there. That's my little sib, Joni, aha! Uh, sibling with Joni. Uh, I caught them on candid camera. The breakfast. Some <laughs> other alligators. One of them has a beard. Would you look, would you look at that handsome fella? I gave myself compliments every day. It's like a workout for your self-esteem. The train. That thing looks weird, right? That's from when I found a cute cafe with the perfect croissant. Mm, that was a good breakfast. Oh, that was weird. It didn't give us this before that. Oh, I'm glad I saved that photo of my mom and dad. Looking good, Jared. Who's a winner? You're a winner! <laughs> okay, here we go. Why did I even take that pic? I don't remember. Right, we can also delete those. I'm pretty good photographer, right? Everyone says that the newer phones have better cameras, but I think mine are pretty good already. My vacation pics. I hope you're ready to relive some memories of me. Hey, my phone started acting up after we went to this weird house. Creepy... Crescent? This is from my trip to Alligator, Los Angeles. It was neat being so close to the mountains. Do you think this house had something to do with my phone being weird? It might be. Do you like this one? Maybe I should make it my profile pic. All right. I feel like I really fit in. Ha ha ha. Saved images. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Cap, you came at the right time. <laughs> I'm so... Please don't all mess with this folder. I just have a... A lot of pics here that I really hate to lose. You're approaching me? <laughs> oh wait, there these are are these all gonna be anime? Oh wow! Okay, 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 okay. He's just so cool cool. This is this is uh, Cowboy Bebop. So this is Spike that looks like Spike Spiegel. So this is one of my t favorite shows, top five for sure. I don't recognize that one. This is JoJo. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Then Cowboy Bebop. Dragon Ball Z. Is this the volleyball one? Or the swimming one? This looks like swimming. Oh, it's yeah, there's a that's water behind it. Oh, uh, listen, it's not what it looks like. The the camaraderie is important to me, Gulp. Don't recognize that. The end theme from season four was my favorite. I tried to get into real life figure skating, but it wasn't as romantic. More like traumatic. Please don't delete this one, it's my fave. <laughs> Hilarious. Screenshots. Oh! This code does something cool. Do you have a way to scan it? I do! <laughs> what is happening? Um, <laughs> there's like, it's a it's a video from the small Butera, which is um, the people who made this game. Uh, a video from their their um, YouTube channel, 
the top comment is, thank you, small J tall Jared. Um, and it's like, I think it's supposed to be these alligators dancing to this music and then falling down the stairs. Anyway, if you guys would like to see it, there you go. <clears throat> oh, good to know, Secret Life. Um, feel free to send out a message. Uh, you may have already. I just, I don't get uh, messages in Discord while I'm streaming, but feel free to th start throwing that into general so that way, um, or in the movie, the movie channel, so that way people can know. Is that it? I guess so. All right. Those are all the pictures. Internet Spelunker. Do me a favor and don't look too hard at my search history. <laughs> Recent searches. Breakfast near me. Breakfast, many pancakes. Sleep sounds. What's the best password joke of the day? Ghost? According to Tess, the best, most secure password for anything is ghost. You're welcome. I never would have thought of it. And I'm going to forget it uh, forget about it immediately. Okay. Uh, what's it like? <laughs> what's it like out? Some di some people like sunny days and some people like rainy days. I like the forecast when it's just like this. Pretty good. <laughs> Today, 75. It's pretty good. Next day, 81. Day after, 80. Fun. After that, 80. None. Can't go to the clock. Let's go to settings. Enter the password. Unlock to enable ghost mode. This screen, this screen isn't helpful at all. What do you think ghost mode is? Before we enter that, let's see what the calls are. Hey, don't look at my calls. I don't try to call anyone either. I'm sort of, I'm really out of minutes. Only have 22 seconds left and I still need to call my grandma. All right, no calls. All right, let's turn on ghost mode. The truth is, I don't remember any passwords ever. Oh. Well, well, well. The password, you got it. I always just pick the most popular thing. Ghost mode activated. Maybe you could um guess, like if you guess the best possible password, that'll probably be the right one. We activated it. Ghost mode, wait. Hey, you unlocked it. Check out the other apps. Maybe something has changed. Okay. I'm imagining something with the photos. Who was it? What, what breakfast did they want? It's no use. I couldn't add more notes either. There. And we're there. Let's look at pictures. Oh, ghost mode. Turn off the flash, Jared. Well, I would if I knew how. Do oh. you think there's something strange about my breakfast? Okay, no ghost. Please don't delete that one. <laughs> right, Cap? That's exactly what I, th I thought. Too. I took the selfie here because the mirror was actually big enough to hold my whole reflection. And the only one that didn't have... Does, doesn't do Wait a moment, there's something weird about this photo. Oh, there is a ghost! Delete? What was that? Did you do that with my phone? Oh, mate, probably with the creepy house. Weird house, huh? It was really spooky inside. And no Wi-Fi? I only had two bars. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, and it like slowly fades in. I see. So let's delete this guy. You saw that, right? That was definitely strange. Okay. 
I used to watch this really late at night. Oh gosh, where did my handsome swimming boys go? Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Get rid of it. Oh God. Next time I go on vacation, it'll be something safe like go-karting or a nude beach. No more creepy old mansions with large legacies contaminated by the vengeful souls that reside within. I swear. I feel like death just moved two baubles on my life abacus to the left after all that. That was super terrifying. Can I have my phone back? Hmm. Hey, it looks like you fixed it. It's nice to have a functioning phone again. It's like I'm reconnected to society. Take that, actually looking people in the eye and talking to them directly. Thanks, random stranger. Or should I say, random friend. Yay! Okay, we got, what's his name, Taljir. So the call I'm waiting on is actually the caterer for the event. It's a lot of work since this family is practically made of food allergies and intolerances, but I'll manage. Thanks so much for all your help. I'll see you tonight. By the way, can you have wheat? We did it, everybody. We found the ghost in the cell. Pat. Hey. Are, are you there? It's Pat. I, I know we haven't figured out what the family's totally nefarious secret is yet. Well... But maybe if we walked there together, I'd feel safer. Is that okay? I'm on my way. Oh, man. Is it time for the event? We haven't even explored the other half of the city. Have alligator New York City. Now, who are you? Sleazarius. Well, hello, and pleasant evening, my good chum. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I, he who. You see, it is within my very nature to skulk mysteriously around corners and the like in death science. As my mother was a mysterious slipper designer and my father was mysteriously absent. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, but enough about me. What about you? You seem like an alligator with an agenda as well. Perhaps a mysterious agenda. Well, that's fine, my friend. That's just fine. <laughs> you know, they say mysterious agendas are the best agendas of all, second only to salacious ones. Perhaps yours is a little both. Do you have a blog I can follow? See you noticing my hat. But tread carefully, my dear. Tread carefully. <laughs> this hat of the secret alligator society, it symbolizes have led me down many a dark and terrible road. Such as community potlucks with spaghetti. So al dente your very soul will ponder the multitudes it requires to chew it. <laughs> Don't get me started on her mysterious rummage sale. Fundraiser for the SPCA, extremely mystical. A community snake spear production in the park. Oh no no, that was fairly uneventful. Hey, we got a puzzle piece. Oh, maybe I should be talking to some of these randos more. I have not been doing that. Oh, have a good dinner. Fifth William. Flower, take me back. Hey, yeah, I should be talking to these NPCs more apparently. Bub, welcome back, esteemed guest. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a 
closed event in the hotel barroom tonight. I've provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to his room. Pardon me, we'll begin walking at your leisure. Why, what? Beautiful wallpaper we have. So rich and distracting. We've arrived. Please inform Mr. Pat he can't have any more tap waters after you knock. I'm so glad you came back. I've just been guzzling tap waters and stress eating these funny crackers the waiter gave me. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went and got all my shoes out anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I went and got all my shoes out anyways, I think just for the company. It's scary being alone here. And now, the event is about to begin, but maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. This counts as something bad happening. D do you have a flashlight? I I I'm scared of the dark and of flashlights, but Slightly less so. Hey, you found one. Do I do I look like that one alligator? That, do I look like that one video by Alligator Queen? Hopefully this with this we can make it through the corridors of the hotel to the ballroom where the, the event is safely. Just just walk real close to me, okay? We we have no way of telling who or what is is out in those twisty halls. Embark in the dark, navigator. The power's out. Use the stick to provide Pat, uh, to guide Pat through the dark hotel. Oh, what is this? Okay. Is he? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. passage of time that will one day consume us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. Oh. Is it this way? Oh, that's hallway. I thought that was a um, door or something. Oh, there's that thing. <laughs> Whoa, that guy again? I wonder what that pink stuff is. Probably nothing corrosive with a hefty half-life. Do we need to go through this or is it gonna be like you failed? Let's just try to see what happens if we... <laughs> ah, self-examination. Intense Halloween decoration or proof that life persists beyond this mortal coil. Either way, I'm not really happy about it.
you see it move? I think I saw it move. There's just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in the pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. That's what he's doing here, but he is attracted to spotlights. Like a moth that smells like hair gel. Oh, did we make it? Uh-oh. Time to see what this event is. Oh, look how happy he looks. Aww. Oh, we can talk to people. I'm gonna have to... Oh, gosh, I'll be closest. <laughs> birthday on your birthday, too, Jet. Oh, thanks, Tom. Taloni. This is the West party I've ever been to. It's simply dreadful, even worse than last year's. Even worse than the rat potty for the Gucci modeling shoot I did. That's Gucci adult sized baby bonnets for strange alligators. Even worse than the release party where they found my ex boyfriend, the house music DJ, run through with a claymore. I for sure wasn't anywhere near there, of course, but how awful! Simply dreadful. Hey, Betty Party, I'm dead. Ha 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 Ah yeah, daddy. You good there, champ. Now go eat some cake. Oh. Wait. Oh, this is the same. Okay, whoops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simply dreadful. Sup, Olden's Moldy? You down for another heist? Sorry to pull you back in the game, but with a cake like this, how can you resist one last score? <laughs> I already forgot what I did for Tall Jared. Oh, on my way over, I passed that abandoned Miss Hoople Doom's home for spooky 1800s children with coughs. And wouldn't you know it, my phone stopped working again. All it does now is sing, ring around the rosy in a slow, haunting manner, and try to order a stick and hoop with my credit card. Having to sit still for this long is hotter than that time I did a squat-a-thon and my pants split due to Niji glue offshoot. At least then I got new yoga pants and raised $100 for guys without eyes. It's an important organization, bro Yoko. Do we talk to you? Oh, that's okay. Aiden. Hello, Starchild. May I interest you in a flyer for my upcoming crystal yoga class? We're going to stand on our heads and really give it some points. There's also going to be free pizza in the dumpster outside Italian Tony's cheese circles. Like bellissimo. Oh, so I wonder... Okay, these are all people we've talked to, so I bet... Because there are different endings. I imagine this gets populated with the people we talked to, because there are two other areas we didn't even go to. And we didn't finish one of them. The, one of the ones we did. So, I assume this kind of changes a bit. Nervous Dairy. Good evening, and good morrow, friend. What an auspicious sign that we have crossed paths once again. Perhaps we have some unknown star deigned connection, or you really want to read my zine about cool wizards. Check it out, I have a whole chapter dedicated to Totapicus the Groovy. You guys should have really seen your faces when you came in. I took like a thousand pics. Pat looked like he thought he was going to die or something, lol. Hold on, I'm totally live blogging this. Hey there. I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. 
Pat scared of the dark in hallways. Apologies, come to think of it. This usually doesn't end as well as this, is what I'm saying. Lovely Maria. Oh, I'm so proud of my Patrick. He didn't threaten... Uh, how did I do her voice? It was like vaguely British and higher. <laughs> he didn't threaten a coat rack shadow with a stapler and jump out a window. Or dump the pole punch bowl in the toilet thinking it was a poison. This is already going so much better than his last birthday. Bobby Blue Eyes. Tell anyone you saw it earlier. Tell anyone about what you saw earlier and break your kneecaps. To enough pieces that the old maids can play Mahjong. And thanks. Hey, put her there, old pallies. Some time for an old-fashioned handshake. Just ignore the snail trail. I'm told it's full of vitamins. Helps keep from, from drying. That, it comes out of my limbs. Oh, and leaves it crying. Oh, hey, where you going? Mr. Spudnik, finally, the fabled game. How are you doing, Mr. Spudnik? The knife. Hey, thanks for Elia. I ended up canceling that date, but not because I was nervous anymore. I was actually kind of wondering if, um, you, you were free. You know, maybe we could go to a real restaurant or, like, hurl some hot dog buns and fat seagulls down at Alligator Coney Island. No pressure. <laughs> the best game JPP has ever played. It is so funny. It is such a funny game, Mr. Sputnik. I love it. M my, I don't remember what voice I gave the little Giovanni. So we're just gonna make it up. My dad said dentist IRA was getting a little too literal for me, and so I got grounded from soda for a billion years. Now I'm only allowed to have this fizzy fruit La Croc, which is just carbonated water that a lemon sneezed in or something. I already miss the sweet, sweet chemical burn of Dr. Soda pickling my small internal organs. Who's this? <laughs> Skids Valentino, can't remember. Oh, hi again. You found me. <laughs> Thanks for always playing. Next time I'll look for you. Let's talk to Pat. I'm so, I'm so happy. I, I wasn't getting rubbed out. I, I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it really meant so much to me. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, oh, come on. Everything is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. I get to choose... Eyes. <laughs> Give me a <laughs> I definitely want anime eyes. Body. There's only, there's only a couple. Okay. Hair. <laughs> I mean... Oh, there's actually quite a few. Oh, so it's like hat. Let's do that. That's that's not so far from my hair color. Make it black. Oh, we can change your tie color. Eye color. Oh, and how can you color your skin? Let's do, let's do that. Glasses. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. All done. This is fantastic. Ah, oh, look at us. Look at us here. And it's cool. So these are all the characters that we talk to. So I assume if we play again, we can talk to the other characters and it'll... Let's see. The game is won. The story and sweet, but though it seems done, has this all been deceit? What's really going on? Does our ten er, does our tale end right here? The more family you come upon, 
the more truth will grow clear. Oh. So there, okay, there are different endings. So maybe if we try again, because you can only do so much, it seems. <clears throat> um, there's like a, um, Because there's like a time limit. You can only do so much in a playthrough. It's a lot like Persona that way. Sputnik, how is your Saturday going? <clears throat> we opened up some Japanese treats, then jumped into this game. You unlock Pat Game Skip. More mysteries await you in Alligator, New York City. Oh, so we don't have to play Pat's games. <clears throat> Interesting. How long have we been streaming? Do we start? What time is it? 4.45. Do we start a new one or do we... Or do we, uh... End the stream? Hmm. If we working, work and driving... Ooh. Wait, do you work on Saturdays? What? That's, yeah. that's good. That's good. I don't say it's bad. But I would hate it. <laughs> um, all right. Man, we could try. Let's, maybe let's just start it off. Wait, so you stream in the early afternoon your time? Uh, yeah, usually. Um, uh, because I'm, so I've got... I'm still learning time zones. Yes, yeah, so right now it's only 4.45. Oh, I hate it for sure. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I bet. Um, uh, some people really love, like, just working all the time. I do not. I, I cannot. Um, but yeah, so what, the days that I work from home, I have a little bit of flexibility where I can kind of work, or I can start streaming earlier. So when I start, usually at 1, it's about... Central time, we're three hours behind, I think, so uh, it's usually about four your time, I think. Um, but yeah, it's usually early afternoon. And then I try to get as much done as I can in the morning, and then I'll, if I haven't gotten everything done, I'll do that in the afternoon. Or after a stream. It's not too bad. Um, I kind of want to just start the next playthrough. I mean, like, I want to continue playing this, because I want to know the end dates. I didn't realize it. We, I thought we were going to have time to do, like, all of it. So let's see. Let's see what we have to do. Okay, so what time is it? Eight in the morning. Perfect. Let's talk to Pat, though. <clears throat> did, did you come back for me? Oh. Oh, so we can just continue from here? It doesn't even do the intro again? Great, I thought we were gonna have to like, play the intro once more. It's like Mickey? Hey bub, you got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? I ain't above asking for five. I saw you walking out, Johnny, John Johnny's over there, and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. The vision in pinstripes they is. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you look like an alligator of an exceptional taste. As well as one who might like to dabble in high-stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. No, don't actually feel me. I got a skin condition. They call me slick for a reason, and according to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical, topical cream at night. But I ain't gotta listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate. You know what I'm saying? All my smarts come from the street, which is also where I got the skin condition and my impolite lower back tattoo. Maybe though, just maybe, if you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up. You think you can keep an eye on this flurry of thingies and find the queen? We already played these, so okay. We won't play this, though I love talking to Slick Mickey. Yeah, ain't nobody got, ain't nobody can follow these ferocious movies. So it looks like what's cool, so we did not, so there's like a time limit in this game where 
every game you play takes like 15 minutes, I think. And um, you have to get to like a party at the end by a certain time. So it looks like what they allow us to do by continuing is just like pick up where we left off. Everything that we've done was completed. Everything, everybody we've talked to is finished, which is cool. So we just need to continue from here. So let's do a couple more and then we'll, um, and then we'll end the stream. I'm fine with that. And it looks like we maybe unlock more, maybe a different, a different ending. Okay, I think we talked to everyone in the bar. I think we were, the last thing we needed to do here is check the alley. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's see what this is. <laughs> In 1964, Margaret Hamilton saw a newspaper advertisement for MIT's Instrumentation Laboratory, which was hiring a team to send man to the moon. Margaret applied for the job, but because no one had ever done it before, oh, because no one had ever done it before, and she was the first programmer and first woman to work on the Apollo mission. As a software developer, she oversaw the creation of Apollo's core rope, a complex series of wires strung through donut-shaped material. Each strand of wire had to be precisely woven, and they were hand-strung by a team of former textile workers. Margaret called them lols, or little old la ladies, and she was called the rope mother because this system of core rope was so reliable it was the technology behind the Apollo's program, Apollo program's navigation and guidance system which allowed the mission astronauts to land precisely on the moon. I'm really curious where this is going. In fact, Margaret's innovative error detection system saved the first mission to the moon. Three minutes later, before the moon, lo lunar module was scheduled to land on the moon's surface, several computer alarms went off. The hardware was overloading. Margaret's system allowed the mission computer to drop lower priority tasks and focus its processing power on the navigation needed to land the module with only 30 seconds worth of fuel remaining. She made sure Apollo 11 and many other space missions were safe with software. That's so awesome. Margaret later led the team that developed the software for Skylab, the first American space station. She founded two companies to develop more error detection and recovery systems. In 2016, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award from President Barack Obama. We found a puzzle piece. <laughs> All right, so let's, I'm very confused where we are right now. <laughs> Jamie. Hey, Emily. Yeah? You want to get go get sushi burritos after this? I know we're trying to save money, but I hear the siren song of the Sushrito calling me. You had me at hey. <laughs> <clears throat> welcome to... Welcome... Fizornis? Ayush. Ayush? Am I in the wrong room? This is definitely not a support group for people who have grown too emotionally attached to vloggers. <laughs> Min Na. Excuse me. I'm clearly trying to take notes on the material, so shoot. Teddy. I've attended advocacy talks all up and down the East Coast, but this one by far has the best lemon square and brownie selection. Sal. Oh, this is so affirming. I'm approaching max validation. Makes me want to strut right out of here and start a revolution. <laughs> hey, you know beloved movie franchise Space Fight Episode 7 Return of the Guy copyright? Remember when the Bananagan Cloud Pincher is revealed to be the guy? I just feel like people really misunderstand his character. Gale. Welcome. Please sign our guest book. Can I? No. Check 
the time. Got a puzzle piece. Okay. Katie. Oh, someone new. Have a seat. We're about to get started. Is this... Wait, is there anything else? Help yourself to coffee or some of Min Na's favorite famous spring rolls. <laughs> I've already forgotten her voice. Oh, go on. <laughs> Don't worry about where you sit. I plan on yelling indiscriminately, so all seating is within range. Are there any games player? Did I put enough folding chairs? Don't want to repeat. Don't want to repeat of Space Fight Trivia Nights Chaos. Okay. Do any of them have extra stuff? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he did some space matters. So he punched a baby so hard it turned into diamond. <laughs> If people would only seek out the extended content, they'd see there's so much more to him. A real space fight fan reads the 45 companion novels, played the ARG, and collected enough box tops to send away for the compendium. Do you know how much cereal I ate for that? I'm banned from the Brodega now. Well, also, I because I kept paying for apples and all pennies. Space fight. The cell revolution begins today. Yes, yes, I agree. Ha oh, thank you, Cell. Good to see you back again. Oh my goodness. I can't believe Katie knows my name. The cell revolution is going great. Hey, a puzzle piece. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Do I have time to get another Rice Krispie treat before we continue? Climate change is real. Do you have more? Minna. <laughs> Cassandra, with every beat of my heart I long for you. Douglas wittered, his flippers paddling across the ballroom to meet her. His lavender orb sparkled with unspoken love for her totally slam and bottom personality. H hey, stop looking over my shoulder. It is healthy to express yourself creatively. I should I should leave before anyone notices. Actually, it's it's pretty interesting. I bet they have better coffee than the support group too. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. I'm gushed on it. I'm worth vlogging about. The fusion of two star-crossed foods, so different from each other and yet so delicious as one. I wonder what the other tasty combos of cuisine were missing. Like ships in the night. Pasta sickles. Uh. Quiche. Quiche. Well. A burger, but it's tacos. Two tacos. Okay, that one I'm vaguely interested in. Hamley. Hey, Jamie. That's it. And sign here for our mailing list. And sign here, too. Right, right. Right there. Great. I really needed a co-signer for my small business loan. Default and Gale, that's what they call me down at the credit union. <laughs> Sign the guest book or don't. Go your own way, baby. <laughs> but tell us, would you eat a burger, but instead of bread, it's tacos. Two tacos. All right, so that was the only thing here. No mini game. So we can check out another area. Let's go to... Oh, wait. Is the fun district where we start? No. What is that? You mean Twacos? <laughs> Exactly. Oh, okay, so we actually have only have one area that we haven't gone through, it looks like. Downtown. I wonder if I need to go back. There are some NPCs we did not talk to, like, over and over again. Maybe those are missing puzzle pieces. Nana Ruse. 
Jones. One. Denise. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oh no, they're gonna all do this in different voices. Patrice? Hello! Hey! Ahem! Oh, hello, hello! <laughs> okay, now I'll I'll record this four times and then I'll play it over itself. <laughs> I'll just I'm gonna just choose a voice for all of them. And they're all going to share the same voice. It's the weirdest quartet ever. We're downtown quartet. We're the downtown quartet, and we'll sing you a song. It's not a very short one, but it's also ain't long. We'll sing it in the morning. We'll sing it past noon. We've had a lot of noise complaints, and we'll be gone soon. Hit the solo, Maurice. To jail. <laughs> Denise. Luis. Patrice. Maurice. We have Pat's aunts and uncles. He's our darling nephew. Ah, so the are all of the Eases are aunts and uncles. All except for Luis, who's just a part of the crew. Okay, so except for Luis. Take it, Luis. Oh, baby, I'm not related to Pat. No, nothing like that. I'm just a guy they know. It takes pot in the show. Oh, oh. Whoa, dude, pull it back. Sorry. We can't tell you much, but we'll sing like a bird. If you can help us with our act, we'll tell you all that we heard. Give them a solo without triggering an oh no. Barbershop upset. Help all the uh, help the alligator quartet hit their solos when the scrolling bar shows a singer background. Point the spotlight at them. Let's warm up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Shine the spotlight at the singer with the matching background. Okay, so there's green, pink, dark gray, and light gray. When the groovy disco pattern appears, shine the spotlight at the disco ball. We'll all sing together. Ready, gentlemen? Ready, maestro? What? Oh, I see. I did really bad. <laughs> I did so bad. Okay, we we did. They're mad at me. They're mad at me. We need to try it again. We need to try it again. Retry. Retry. Okay. This is just the this is just the the tutorial. So we start with that. There we go. Okay. Say that. Say that felt pretty good. What do you think, fellas? Not enough practice time. Patrice demands. Patrice demands more solo time. Okay, one more time for Patrice. All right. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Her solos are intense. <laughs> well, to my ears, that sounded. I feel like I could have had more timber. Tim. Yeah. Timbre, come on. It's a singing word. I'm a real singer and I'm gonna prove it. Okay, okay, less time. All right, everyone, give it everything you got. Uh, that starts with this. <laughs> Tomber. Okay, thank you. I was like, I know this is not correct, but I can't figure out how to say it in my head right now. Family badge. Oh, jeez. Another. Another. Wait. There should be a fourth one. Come on, man. Oh, right. Sorry. There we go. There's Luis. Also, timbre is uh, timbre is used to explain tone quality produced from a particular particular instrument, not vocals. Sawi Gators, <laughs> you helped us with our song and to improve our content. Now, what we're gonna do is tell you. All we're gonna tell you is we were booked at the event. Thanks for your help. Now we'll see you in a week. Unless we get arrested, then please bring us from the clink. Anytime I do that voice, it just gets deeper and deeper as it goes on. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost 10. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that could be anything. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. Okay, we don't need to go back. To get the sand. I'm busy. But busy. But Pat. Maybe like maybe two hours later. Hello. Okay, okay, no pressure. Maybe you can come back. Maybe when you come back, you can take a look at it. Maybe, hello? Oh, that's, I feel sad. Sleepy pants. Man, man, I'm totally trying to sleep right now. I'd love being asleep. Anything? Nothing? You're not gonna give me a sticker? Okay. Let me get click on the car. Can't talk to that lady. Who's this? Jorge. The breeze. The practicing quartet. What a perfect day to be alive. A live alligator. Even though it gets noisy sometimes, I love living in the city. It's so full of life and good burger joints. Ah, I'm so content. Papoli. Bugs. Bugs for sale. More than one even. Unlike what the sign implies. Yeah, sell bugs here? Not, no, not for baiting, for eating. We alligators we eat bugs. Which, which is something you know because we exist here, canonically. Anyway, get bug buying a good buy-in. <laughs> Hold on. Get bug buying a good buy-in kiddo. I ain't got all day. I gotta sell bugs to feed my family and with different bugs, which I buy with an alligator currency. Papoli. Most people call me Papoli, but my real name is Mortimer Giles Jr. That's right. Mortimer Giles Jr. AKA 
by Foley. My real name, oh, okay. The third and a half. Oh, I missed that. My real name is Mortimer Giles Jr. The third and a half. On account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. Miraculously, he survived, but his life wasn't without its problems, such as how hard it was to see him when he turns directly to the side. Gampa, where are you? We'd call, but no, to no avail. He already slipped through a crack in the direct decorative linoleum. This last time we saw him, and also when those basement sounds started up. But look at me rambling here to youth about cellar screams and the like. Hey, did you say Pat? That's my grandson's name. Okay, he is... Grandpa But also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kinks out of my tail on Tuesdays. Did you mean Pat or Pet? You'll have to speak up. I'm hard of hearing due to a condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. Hey, event? I'm not quite sure I know what you're talking about. I have the selective memory disorder, you see, in that I forget about things I don't really want to go to. Fair. Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you help me out with a favor. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife, Martha, has also been the victim of a weed thresher incident. I can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, how I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Care to help this old softy gaze upon his lost love once more? Of course. Get the pieces glued for this old dude. Make my wife, please. Press A to slide a block into the empty space. Reassemble the picture to gaze upon this alligator's beautiful. got like some of it together but like you're not it's like you're not very good at this oh my gosh no oh no solve it could just solve it for me hold on i want to try Made fun of by a, a computer. I can do this. Just give me, just give me a second.
or maybe, maybe just let it solve it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. We did. Ah, okay, we got the top part. Now. So look, we're doing it. We're doing it. Welcome, Secret Life. Insulted by the game. Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Oh, and I think actually, hold on. I think the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oopsies. There. Okay, you see, I don't need a, I don't need a, a help game. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> that's it. My, that's my mod. Oh, lovely dear Martha. I'll always remember the sweet sound of her, her sound of a sweet voice in her. Oh no. Oh dear. It seems you've seen the other side now with my secret wife. Could you put this one back together too? If not for me, then for creepy old Coots grandpas everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. If this one offers us to solve it, we might just solve this. <laughs> this is correct. Patronizing, but yeah, we're probably gonna just skip this one. I mean, we're kind of putting it together. It's kind, it's coming, kind of coming along. Let's just solve it. There you go. That's gonna take way too long. Yay! <laughs> we did it. We, well, we all did it. <clears throat> yeah, got his back. Oh, Gertie, good old Gertie. It's been years since I've looked upon your sweet curly hair and your man-breaking arms. Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thank you, thanks to you. I'm re reunited with both my lost loves. Martha passed years ago, but Gertie is just a witness protection. You know, from all the man-breaking. What a firecracker, that gal. On cold days, I can still feel the phantom broken body pain she left me. Hey, event? Oh, you mean tonight's event? Well, I can tell you it's on. It's all past my bedtime. 
You young folks love staying up late. Me, I'm in bed by six nightly. After a modest dinner of soft bug puddings and four to seven episodes of soft flutes on public broadcast. Anyway, kiddo, thanks again for helping me out. Or should I say, helping three out? <laughs> Don't tell my grandkids. Okay. Mona the Snipper. Are you here about joining the resistance? Come to the front door, but don't let don't let the feds tail you. The password is the only thing worth fighting for. Justice absolute. It is also the name of my favorite Mark's leaning ska band. Yeah, I said favorite. There are more than one. There are two, as a matter of fact. Their first single was about putting a potato in the tailpipe of a crooked alligator governor when he tried to join the mailing list. No GMOs. That's no governors may opt in. Mona, Mona the Snipper. I'm Mona, but you can call me by my online handle for safety, which is Kpop Angel 85. What? I can have other interests besides the cause. Do you mean Hat Pat, or do you mean Bat Pat? No, no. You probably mean Hat Pat. Bat Pat is my high school neighbor that used to pick me up for DSA meetings on Fridays until he got grounded. He apparently broke. He had broken his Nine Eyes favorite set of extremely fragile and large-eyed, large-eyed porcelain deer with something. A club? Hmm, that's not important right now. We'll spring him eventually. Yes, Dad. I mean legally. Anyway, Hat Pat's an okay dude. I barely know the guy, but he still made me a punch-proof vest to wear to protest out of Dr. Soda bottle caps. He's a stand-up alligator. He may, he may be drinks too much soda, though. Doesn't, doesn't he know what the government's putting that stuff? I didn't tell you about the CIA agent that watches my cell phone would probably delete my chumbler in vengeance. That's why I keep all my pictures of day one. Which? I have four events to go to this week alone. Like tomorrow, it's Minestrone Monday at the soup kitchen. Then it's on Taco Tuesday at the women's shelter. Wednesdays doesn't have a fun name, but everyone does get those cupcakes with the white squiggles as an extra at the alligator food bank. If you're talking about tonight, though, you might as well go act like a cop somewhere else, officer pinstripes. I don't rat out my comrades. My mind is bottled up so tight, the Count of Monte Cristo has spent years trying to escape from me, whilst plotting his vengeance against those who wronged him. We just finished reading that book in my Tuesday lit class. Pretty bother, TBH. I love revenge and breakfast. Listen, I'm not trying to give you crud about Pat or something. I'm just a little stressed out. Not to go all first world probs on you, Bobs, but I have a zine due to be scanned by tomorrow afternoon. If I miss the deadline, it won't get printed in time for the Indie Comics Annual People with Bangs convention this week. Do you know how long it takes? to staple a stack of these zines. At least two full episodes listening to Gata Crater, a true crime podcast about the world's most blown up alligators. Yes, Dad, I also have Algebra 2 homework. If you could help me put some of these pictures together, maybe I could give you that straight dope about that dope. So, are you ready to join the resistance? Make paper word salad, because your voice is valid. S smells like zine spirit. Mona Zine needs to cover three topics evenly. Choose clips with uh, buttons to then glue them down with A. Be careful, some clips cover two topics at once. Oh, okay. Oh, three topics evenly, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So check it, Pinstripes. I've already done the hard work. Uh, I've already done all the, the hard zine stuff, like picking the clips and cutting everything with semi-straight lines. I need you to pick a good selection and glue them into place. Sadly, ever since the stickening of 2017, I'm not allowed to use glue myself. Or glue sticks. Or wrap us in Or large stickers. Or small stickers. So you're going to have to be the hero that sticks the picks. This scene encompasses, of course, the three most important, most sceny things possible. I'm talking about social issues, indie comics, and K-pop, obviously. These three topics go together like peanut butter and jelly and a third comparable thing that escapes me in this movie. But that doesn't mean we can't, we can lean into any one more than the other. As 
everything has to be balanced or people will think I'm biased. That means no pay space for any uh, any one thing more than the other. So pick a pick and get ready to stick. Careful though, I have a limited selection of content and glue is forever. Just ask my hamster. Rest in peace, Valhalla, Goopy the Thread. 2015 to 2017. When you're done, we'll ask the editor if it's ready to scan, so get pasted. Alright, the cover is really. Oh, the cover is really important. It has to portray the essence of what's on the inside. It's sort of like choosing what ironically humorous t shirt to sport at Rosh Hashanah that really unsettled your extended fit. Alright, so it needs to have three things. K-pop, Wibbly, then. Wait, what were the three, three things? K-pop, comics, and something else. Wibbly, Finn's truth, is it? Local indie comics, fancy. Wibbly, Finn, and that's K-pop on the cover. Oh, does it matter? Oh, wait, because it all has... I don't know what that one is. K-pop, Wibbly Finn, and then let's do this one. Well, no, that's only two things. This one really makes you think about staring out a window and being made to think. Don't forget to balance the topics. I wouldn't want anyone to accuse me of political bias or standing bias. Together for for Ada. I'm gonna send this one to everyone I know. And some people I don't. You type random numbers into your phone, they have to go somewhere, right? It's okay, K-pop. Do we really want someone who eat a sad lunch for another term in office? TBH, this one kind of mondo bums me out. I didn't win the Xena Award last year's con, but I did place third in Cool Bangs. Alright, this is... K-pop. Um... What does it say? I didn't really get an interview with this, is just what I hope he'd say to me. Ah, love you, JR, hope you read this. Question. Ah, oh, that's okay. I love you. Question, what type of girls do you like? Oh, any kind, but mostly the kind that are like you on the inside. Who is doing the costuming for your next tour? Actually, the designer couldn't do it anymore because you look like the perfect person to take his place. Question, what's the, that amazing smell of flowers? What is it? I emit this amazing smell when I'm near someone. I might have feelings for as long as it's okay with them. Question, from name, would you be our new costume designer and also live with me forever? For, uh, uh, answer, from interviewer, now becoming interviewee. Oh my, I couldn't. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Let's do this one. T Tiny day one. Sorry, I just got over, all over the this one. The distinct need to buy cutified products. The last insight page is a hard hit. Like, really, actually, more. Like, maybe they'll give you a couple more bucks to pick up a few more for the other comments. Uh, this is Lois. She feels wibbly thin is an inadequate mayor. Balance the budget? He can't even balance on this log in his own yard, no less. Um, and then that's the K-pop group. Let's do... Wibbly. Comic. Let's do this one. This one's 
a last minute submission from my friend's cousin, Minna. Oh, hey, we just met her. You can read the rest on her blog. It got called a tour de force by someone whose Twitter icon was the best ship for my popular TV show. We're almost there, just pace on the back cover in the meantime. So I think. Okay, you're Wibbly Finn. This one is. Comics and paper. Uh, I think this is what we need, because if anything, this is too flattering. We're all done, hand it over. Let's see. I said fair and balanced, but you're clearly favoring one topic over the other, so I should have known better. What? Retry. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show me the options. Okay. So it's Wibbly Finn. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So this is. Just the only options are K-pop. Or is this a comic also? No, I think this is just K-pop. Okay. We need Get how I'm supposed to do this. Okay, 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 okay. All right, Taloni, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. cover. Option here is K. So, and I think 
this is, well, this is a bit like that. I don't know what they want. This is well. Let's do. So I've done two comics, two Wibbly Finn, one K pop. So I could do this one, which kind of. Oh wait, no, this is. Of Mr. Ribley Finn. <laughs> okay. Whew. Yes, this is perfect. Let's show it to the editor for approval. Uh, huh? Yeah, uh, sure. Whatever. Worlds, Dad Mug. Uh, looks our worst Dad Mug? I couldn't read what that said. Looks like we're all set to scan it. Set to Each page is bounced and checked and end. My respect. Copy. So we got Nona's badge and the, and her dad. Hmm, that's a pretty red red tagline. That public access channel talk show, which is 100% in the cards, by the way. I keep up B plus's second turn. That would definitely be my sassy catchphrase. Anyway. The events is a gross allocation of funds, if you want my opinion. Did you know helium is a finite resource? Seriously, Ali Google it. Every balloon at that chin dig is basically a big heck off to the folks that really need it. The scientists and clowns that are down with good luck but have hopeful hearts. I'll see you there tonight, comrade. Bring your favorite safety pin covered jean vest from Righteous Poppin. for thinking so with what with that drab wardrobe and pathetic sunken eyes everything here has a clear stink of death upon it oh except for me of course i'm merely a poor poor woman in deep mourning not at all one involved in mysterious circumstances the police cannot explain i am merely a lonely widow left behind for the great beyond by my beloved late husband horus Oh, Horus, always such a wonderful wisp of a man. Even at his most poisoned, he forever rem remained regal, kind, and absur absurdly wealthy. Now in his absence, I find myself trying to take comfort in the metaphysical arts. 
If only I could hear his sweet, strange voice once more. Pat? You mean the one with the ridiculous hat? Yes, I am aware of him. A terrible stain on the bloodline, that Papoli fellow. Created all sorts of nonsensical cousins for my children and my dear children. Hmm. The Black Widow. Married to Horus. I don't know how she's related to... Holy. Once removed, at the very least, though, it's of a little comfort to me. Especially when I see someone like Patrick vault over our coffee table at the holidays. He thought he saw the Spider's Man. Oh, whatever. Nonsense. Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event unchaperoned. If only my poor dear husband had been less poisoned. I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Will no one think of me? And my feelings? Your questions grow tiresome. Don't you see you're riling up the vapors? What are you, the lead detective investigating the mysterious circumstances around my late husband's untimely demise? How dare you. I've had no rest for the past week. Whenever I close my eyes, I visited. I am visited by Horace's specter, reaching out to me. Perhaps he's trying to send me information about some secret treasure he wanted me to inherit on top of his vast real estate. Will nothing stop his ceaseless haunting? If you could only find it in your heart to give this poor widow... To help this poor widow, I can give you the information you seek. Just use the spirit board to contact Horace, and please find out what my dear late husband wants, or what kind of evidence he has. Become a dark patron of this terrifying matron. The bargain of earthly defrights. Follow the ghost through the eye of the planchette. He could get tricky. The faster you move, the more suspicious the widow gets. Magical insight into the deeply, dearly departed. I have my suspicions. Prove to me you can contact my beloved late husband. I shall out you as a charlatan to the entire Mean Ladies Bridge Club. Say, if you know the circumstances around your own death. Horus. Nice, okay. It is almost too much to be believed. Indeed, my very foundations are ruffled. He loves me. My Horus said he loves me even in his afterlife. What a prince among ghosts. What a special specter my Horus is, and so gullible. Thank you, dearie. He's given an old widow a reason to smile again. And also an airtight alibi. Oh, I must go tell the children at once. And also hide some sensitive items in the toilet, perhaps. I simply don't have any more time to discuss the event with you today. Farewell, my medium. Alright. Let's talk to Nanaru. Welcome to Nanaru's. Well, if there's ooze on your shoes, it's just because of the booze. It's haunted as well. Get out in here, sweetheart. So mind the ectoplasm. So, you interested in buying some antiques from me today, dollface? We just got a huge new shipment of designer grandma plates, never meant to be eaten on. 
as well as a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the, with, from the 70s with realistic plastic faces. I can get you a real deal on one of those if that's your fancy. Is that your fancy? I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir, I'll see you over there. I'll be with you in a minute. Well, sugar pie, as the sign may have alerted you, I'm the one and only Nana Rue herself. Purveyor of only the finest antique goods and the finest antique store owners. <laughs> Go on, honey, tell me I'm looking good for my age. Alice, stop harassing the customers. My sweet, sweet Patrick, he's my absolute shortest grandson. All right, Nana Rue, grandmama. Why, it feels like only yesterday. He would run about the shop squealing about ghosts, trying to eat his kidneys and hiding in humorously oversized vases. As you can probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. That boy might not be playing with a full deck. You, hey you! Be careful with that vase, it's expensive. Ah, so Pat's inviting his little friends to the event. Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to get over there on time tonight. Gotta strain all the ghosts out of my wig before the shindig, you know. Those things tend to hitch a ride. Yes, sir, I see you waiting there. I'll be you in a be with you in a minute. Sorry, Pumpkin. Looks like I have to stop yapping about the event and take care of a customer. Unless you defeat me at a round of cards. What do you say, sweetheart? Think you can out old the old maid? Keep up with the maid without getting played. Old maid. On your turn, select one of Nana Rue's cards and press A to put in your hand. Then she'll take one from you. Any matching pairs will be removed. The player left holding, the old maid loses. Ah, yes. House rules, the younger player goes first. I know which one I want you to pick. I'll get you next time, youth. It's a sense of dread. Is it old age or the old maid? That's a pair for me. Are you there, doll? You spaced out there for a second. Next turn, I know it! My pick, you say? Well, well, well. Phew, I really needed a pair. I know which one I want you to pick. Phew. I think I win. I like the look at this card. Hmm, it's the only card. That's a pair for me. Well, how about that? You won. Leo. First try. GG easy. Well, my stars and garters, you really beat me fair and square. Got Nana Roo. You know, if you see my older sister Constance around here, you should try to coerce her into playing around with a doll like you. I think she'd get a real kick out of it. Just don't stare at her cards. She gets a little feisty about that. It's about the event. Make sure you get there at 8 sharp. If you get to dawdling, you might miss the big surprise. I'm sure, I'm sure to knock, it's sure to knock pet socks off. Wait, does he wear socks? Is he one of the shoe-wearing alligators or the non-shoe alligators? Well, something will get knocked off the boy. We'll make sure of it. <laughs> oh, buongiorno city pal here. Did you know that's how they say hello in Italy? At least that's what it said on the back of my crisp rice season at Box of A. See, si. There's a lot of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator New York City. That's why it's called a melting pot. Not because of that strange smell the sidewalk gives off in hot weather, weather as I originally thought. If you want to meet any interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on the trolley since everyone uses it. You never know who you might strike up a conversation with there or who might throw a bag of hair at you and then run away. That's the big city for you, full of surprises. Okay. Diamond Alice. Hey, hey, look at me. Do you want to hear my poem? It's called Shiny Tiny Miny Little Things. Here it is. Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing, what are you? And it said, I'm a shiny, tiny, miny little thing. Did you like it? I wrote it, um, in my head, because I can't write on papers yet. 
Except for my name. And except for but, but Papa didn't like it when I write it, it on Grandma. I'm Alice and I'm four years old. I'm gonna eat the whole world. And when I get older, I'm gonna be an ice cream truck king. Do you want to smell what's in my pocket? Pat! Pat, 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 or Pat? Pat is my cousin. I bought him gummy worms and he eated it. Diamond Alice. Cousin. But then, I showed him. It was all, it was real worms. I found another the bird bath in the backyard. Pat doesn't come to babysit me anymore. It's secret. I'm... I'm not opposed to telling nobody about it. Papa said if I did grandma... Papa said if I did, grandma would be real mad. Even more mad than when I righted butt on her butt. Can you help me with my snack? Maybe if you did, then it'd be okay. I want to eat all the pancakes, but only if they're on my special plate. I don't like to eat pancakes that's not on my special plate. Because it doesn't take taste pancakey. You know how it is. Don't put the smaller ones under the bigger ones either. I don't like that. So will you stack me the pancakes? Do you have what it takes to stack a pancake? Stack a pancake. Flowers of Annoy. Stack the pancakes on Alice's special plate. You can only stack a pancake on an empty plate or on top of a larger pancake. Watch out, each time you move a pancake, Alice gets hungrier. The plate with the A on it, that's my special plate. Oh, I see. If I'm gonna eat all these pancakes, I want them stacked perfectly on my special plate. Stack them carefully. A big one can't go on a little one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Doing this right? Uh oh. Here we go. Oh. Woo. <sighs> yeah, you just need to restack large to small. Yeah. So, but it was just, you can't put a large pancake on top of a small pancake. So you kind of have to keep on shifting your, shifting your own. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, a train? Oh my gosh, the train is, is in the station. Mm, that was good first course. Round two. All right. Uh, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, we can do this. I hate that it counts it against you if you do. Um... Okay. Whew. There we go. Mmm, delicious. Wait, does the train sound kind of funny though? Oh, 
Okay, let me see. Let me see here. Let me see here. Whoop. Easy peasy. Ugh. I ate a lot of pancakes. I feel real, real stomach achy, but accomplished. Same. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna lay here a while. That's gonna be a cake at the thingy tonight, and I wanna eat it, so I gotta regain my stamina. Cake stamina. Thanks for the help. I'm gonna sleep beeps to now. And beeps now. What? Sleep beeps now? Okay. Alright, so let's go back here. Thanks, Cap. Thanks, Runner. Oh. Let's see. Puzzle piece. Excuse me, excuse me, stranger. Can I trouble you for a moment? You see, I need to seal the deal in a big sale. I'm talking huge. A ten-foot-tall coat rack for exceptional, exceptionally affluent and tall alligators. Can you keep an eye on my granddaughter napping and let me know if she gets fussy? Angel Face is a very good girl, so I don't anticipate you having any weird problems or strange happenings at all. None! Just keep your peepers on this monitor and play her a little music if she starts to wake up. Or throw on her nightlight. Yada yada, you get it. Just doing a babysit. Nothing weird about it. Watch a totally normal baby. <laughs> don't let ghosts possess this cute baby. Target ghosts with up and down. When, you, when you're ready, press A to attack. Fast ghosts are afraid of the brightest light. What? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. Oh, I see. They highlight when it's... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see how this works. Why isn't he dying? Oh gosh. Get it! Get it! Why won't it? Oh, I have to pull it here? There we go. 
Oh, I see what's happening. I see now. Don't even worry about it. Everybody. Oh, I lost. <sighs> oh, wait, can I not? Oh, no. I'm back. Come. I'm gonna need an old priest, a young priest, and a sort of middle-aged priest having a midlife crisis. You know anybody? Hold on. I'll, I'll get the yellow pages. Dang. It's Pat. Hey, it's me again. That's almost four and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes? And the wearing of them where they're in? A couple things. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did this part. I'm busy. You know that, Pat. What? But if... Use your words. <laughs> like maybe two hours later. Like real safe, extra, extra safe. Did you bring any hand sanitizer, band-aids, a tourniquet, hello? I'm sorry, Pat. I need to try this again. Okay, so I was pressing A, which turns on the sound. I thought you had to select a light source and then press A. That's not the case. You just have to leave the light source on. A is for ghosts that have, like, earmuffs on. I think you just... right? Oh no, you, I think you do press A to activate it still, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and, but do you have to keep it on that? Yeah. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. She got hit with a ghost. Oh! I see, I think. Also, I'm a dummy. I get it. I get it now. I know I said that last time, but I actually do get it now. I didn't realize, whoops, wrong color. They're color coordinated also, I'm a dummy. I didn't even see that. That counts? Okay. Whew. All right. I'm back. Uh, and look at that sleeping like the tiniest, babyest, baby tiny age. <laughs> we got a babby. Sorry to ask you with such a bore, but I appreciate you helping an old gal out. Tell you what, any, any items with water, fire, or bee-related damage are 10% off just for you. Don't say Nana never did nothing for you, kiddo. <laughs> Spook proof. Okay, okay, we got it. All right, anything? Is this a person we can talk to? Or are they? No. Puzzle piece? Another puzzle piece? Talkable? No. And again, this person isn't either? 
Nope. Okay. Well then, hold on. Let's, uh... I used to be a porcelain doll, but I came to life because of the magic of this shop. At least that's what I tell my ex-wife so I can come sit here all day. I've got a good butt grooving going in this shelf. What am I doing up here? I don't know. What are you doing down there? Check and mate. I can't believe the magic of this shop and the belief in the hearts of children everywhere brought me to life and made me a real boy. A real 44-year-old boy with high cholesterol and everything. Check we're not missing any. Okay, tapped on that. Okay. How many puzzles do we have? Thirty five of forty eight. Directions. We've talked to everyone here, I do believe. So, we've traveled everywhere then. So, hold on, let's talk to Cat's mom. Hey, did you say something? I see you over there eyeing my cards, youngin. But I ain't giving them to you. Last time I was giving my cards away was long before you were born. And now look at me. I'm old! See what Sharon gets you? Aging irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skeleton, but then you turn around, and boom! Your jaws are hanging down past your collarbones, which are now hollow inside. Is that what you want? Hollow collarbones with a nest of daddy long legs inside? Stop staring at my cards. That's only the business of me and the nurse that puts the ointment on my back bees three times a week. Stop staring at my cards. What? Did Pat tell you to go steal his great aunt's cards? As he did, I ain't gonna give him his Christmas present this year. Which is of course a bag of oranges and a strange tin of popcorn from 1987. Stop staring at my cards. I ain't telling a kid like you nothing. Though, you could blame me for the information, as long as you don't stay on my cards. What do you say, kiddo? Think you can beat the old maid? So Constance is Nana Rue's um, sister. Constance. Your sister. She's a wily old gal. You're in for it, pal. Older maid. <laughs> on your turn, select one of Constance's cards and press A to put it in your hand. Then she'll take one from you. Any magic here from you. Beauty for before age, my dear. You go first. Take your turn already. Lucky me. I can pick cards in my sleep. A pair. Cheating over there, are ya? Oh, and I have build maker. Which card will help me win? Sometimes it feels like the pairs want to find me. Pick a card already. I won't lose. Now this is gonna be my ticket to glory. No! Oh no! Wait. No! I didn't beat her. That's right, go home with your tail between your legs, baby. Maybe your mummy will wipe the tears off your snoot. Ha 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 Cough. Ha. Ha. Constance. Oh my, you're back already. I did find some more photos. I'll play. Yes, 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 yes. 
Okay. Um, all of these are... Angel face. So we completed Pat's family. Um, wait, where's the kid with the... Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's an... Okay, they're kind of stuck up here. Um, this is just a random guy, isn't it? Guidance counselor. Denise. And Louise. Or Patrice. Sorry. Tall Jared. This is the Black Widow. talking about her their dad's death that makes sense dead <laughs> deading this is Some NPCs we haven't talked to multiple times. Let's see. Okay, so now it's forcing us to the end. Dang. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take us there. I feel like we might as well finish this now that we're at this point. Because um, I think we only have four more. Well, we know one of them is Constance, who's on the bus. The others, though, I'm not positive who, who is left. to do this one. I 100% do not remember what is the right way. This music in this game is constantly awesome. It is. It is pretty fantastic. Um, the soundtrack is on Spotify. 
Just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in the pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. Did, did you see it move? I, I think I saw it move. following me. <laughs> I should have never bought that dresser from Nanaru. The deal was just as scary as its obvious possession. I thought it was this way. Maybe did I take a wrong turn somewhere around Albuquerque? I don't know. Okay, this was that room. There's nothing down here? No, there's not. Okay. Wrong way then. procedurally generated, and that's why it's not the same. Self-examination. What is this? Oh, this is the door we came through? Great. <laughs> We've made it to the start. Cool, cool, cool. Reminder of the inevitable passage of time that will one day consume us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. Okay, we're gonna do the thing where we just follow a wall the entire time. Let's see if it takes us. anything but Marty. I forget who Marty was. Okay, we, we went that way. <laughs> Is it, though? <laughs> if anything, I don't think consistent would describe my accents. <laughs> That guy again? Wonder if that pink stuff is probably nothing corrosive with a hefty half life. Okay, we went that way. That's where we started. I just don't. Oh, I'm so lost. I thought we went somewhere. I thought it was through this area, but it doesn't look like there's. Where... 
there's not an exit this way. Okay. Oh, this guy. Okay, we are on the right track. Okay. Whoa, Mandy! That's what he's doing here, but he's attracted to spotlights like a moth that smells like hair gel. It's just up here, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We found it. So there's a few people we can talk to now. The animation of this is just... <laughs> he just looks so happy. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to the people we had not talked to before. Hey, happy birthday to you. You lived in a zoo. You smell like an alligator, and that is unsuspicious and correct. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, we talked to those three last time. Mercy, it's been a dog's age since I've been to a swinging shindig. You know of any? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mostly. Um. Cake! Cake, cake, cake! Oh yeah, anything with the word cake in it! Pancake, birthday cake, cheesecake, yellow cake! Kaboom, cake! Well, there's no hidden puzzle pieces this way. Talk to them. Talk to them. Uh, this guy was not here last time. I'm gonna lose my AARP discounts being up this late. They take a hard look at your benefits if you do too much standing, staying up past eight or rollerblading. I am not giving up my Tuesdays at Roller World. Horus and I have come to an understanding of sorts. Or when he remains dead and courteous and I don't call in a priest or buy any more poisons wholesale. Can you talk to the ghost now? Um, these people were not there. <clears throat> hey, it's you, Comrade Pinstripes. Good news, pre-orders on my blog for the zine are already through the roof. Since five copies are already spoken for, I'm just sure to sell out all, all seven by the end of the convention. But the word getting out like this will def get Mayor Wibbly Finn's resignation within the week. Or at least he might take my petition about planting more trees in Alligator Memorial Park more seriously. He better. Are those edited videos of him set to humorous, humorous fart sounds and kazoo music aren't going to stop being posted on Snootbook. Hold your local government accountable, or they'll get a memeing. And the dad doesn't have anything. Nah, huh? Yeah, uh, party. Sure, whatever. Um, okay, I think that was all of the new ones. That we talked to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we talked to our buddy, Matt. I I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out, I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. All right, and then... Okay. We'll say all done. I think it just means being killed, Super Life. <laughs> Let's take a new photo. Oh! This is new. Are we the killer? Oh gosh, what? <clears throat> so, so dear Pat was right, his life was in danger. Though here on this night, not from family, but stranger. Is this how it ends? With birthday boy gone splat? 
you may, you may still make amends, and you may yet still save Pat. <laughs> well, I guess that's the stream, everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's finish. Let's finish that. Dang, okay, and it ends there. So, we completed the first one, or we the first set as much as we could, and it showed us just up to the birthday part and Pet being like, hey, I'm glad we're friends now. Uh, and then now we got a little bit further. Oh, you unlocked Bub's nap time? More mystery mysteries await you in Alligator New York City. And so now we get to... Now we get to, uh, I think, once we once we get all four, once we get all four, the last four that we're missing, I think we can uncover a little bit more. <laughs> so hold on. <laughs> so... We talk to this guy now. He doesn't have a thing for us. Let's go to the train. What was it saying that I unlocked? I unlocked something. Let's go to Alligator Memorial Park. Constance, hey, did you say something? I see you over there eyeing my cards, youngin, but I ain't giving them to you. Last time I was giving my cards away was long before you were born. And now look at me, I'm old. See what your sharing get, gets you aging irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skin, but then you turn around and boom, your jowls are hanging down past your collarbones, which are now hollow inside. Is that what you want? Hollow collarbones with a nest of daddy long legs inside? Stop staring at my cards. Although, you could play me for the information, as long as you don't stare at my cards. What do you say, kiddo? Think you can beat the old maid? I'll play. Beauty before age, my dear. You go first. better start. I started off with the old maid. First pick. So far so good. My turn! I wonder if she can take it back. Yes! Yes! Have you been staring at my cards? I know just what to pick. <laughs> There's only one card left, Constance. You best be shaken in your booty seeing all these pairs. I'll get you next time. Ah! Take that, nonsense. Got the family badge. All right, all right. Don't get too cocky there, kiddo. These eyes don't see as well as they used to when I bought them off that plague doctor in the mid to late 18th century. Just how old am I? None of your dang beeswax. I got my own beeswax to worry about, you know, from the back bees. Anyway. The event is tonight, and me and my sister Rue are both going to be there. What more do you need to know? I'll get the heck away from me and stop staring at my cards before I give you a knuckle sandwich. That's pig knuckle, which I bought from a great butcher at the back alley behind the sizzler. It's real good, so I don't want to share. Alright. Is this... The cloud looks like a duck. 
Now that cloud looks like two ducks. That cloud looks like my ex-girlfriend, who was a duck. Oh, Sheila. Sheila. Okay, that's it. We redid Tin Lizzie. We did that kid back there. Is there any... Any other things we need? We're missing puzzle pieces. Oh. Oh, it's this thing. Uh, okay, no. Nothing to click on. Who's this? Hero. I was having an eat emergency, but I got pulled in by Mandolin Mandy's siren song as usual. I love listening to him play, and when he tells me to stop sitting so close and rhyming couplets, <laughs> what a guy. You know, I just love coming to the park, hearing the birds and music, and feeling my own hot mouth mist reflected back at me as I stand too close to people. It's not on purpose, you try having your eyes positioned this way and and get back to me about depth perception. Please. Is this it? Okay. So no sticker from this person. Mandy is... Put a coin into my hat. The song I play is sweet. And if you don't agree with that, I do not give receipts. So it's no surprise or clever ruse that I expect a dollar. Cease your sit so close to me, though you enjoy my arts, for if you do not start to flee, I'll punch you in soft parts. Haha, <laughs> this guy. Twang. Twang. Let's see. Ah, puzzle piece. You again? Oh, this is the person who's like, stop talking to me. Shoo. I said shoo. Please, I don't have anything for you. Please, I only have one thing for you. Oh, just take it. Ah, there was more. Okay. But something said it opened for me, and I do not know what that was. We have 30, we only need 10 more. There's anything else here? We already talked to those two. Wait, well. Welcome back to Eat Emergency, where we take most forms of insurance. Oh, wait, not that one. If you'd like to add cheese to your fries, the copay is $20. Our kids' menu includes chicken tenders, tacos, and three rounds of measles vaccinations. Oh, and pizza bagels. The system is broken, dog. The system is broken. Okay, so I think that is it from this person. No, no puzzle piece? Okay. Let's go back to the unsavory part of town. There's, so I think there's three more family members we need. He is not one. Oh, good old Clancy. Hello. Some, someone knocking, you, you can come inside. Oh, hello there. Don't usually get visitors in the control room like this. It's actually quite nice to have some company besides the various rodents ardently trying to eat my feet and ankles. A trolley company told us uh, conductors to start taking rat poison foot baths before coming into work in the morning. What did you know it? All that did was anger the rats and give me trench flipper. You know, the trolley health plan doesn't cover trench flipper or gout, which is why I had to stop bringing my usual fried ham bones in for lunch. I'll miss that humorously oversized lunchbox, but not my ov my humor humorously oversized joints. Call me Clancy. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Unless you're in here to rob me, in which case I'd ask you kindly not to take the dollar I have in my breast pocket. That's for my afternoon old man licorice snack. If I don't have that, I'll turn back into a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. But I don't want to chance it. Pat, my grandson, a funny fellow that, always wearing his little hat and bandana. Makes him really recognizable though, you know, like for marketing and such. Funny, funny fellow that Pat. Okay, so wait, Clancy is his grandpa. Now hold on, even an old man with my memory remembers he's not supposed to be spilling the beans. My wife Rue told me quite clearly that I'd be in the doghouse if I did. And it's really uncomfortable out there and full of dogs. Say, I could use a youngin' like you, uh, youngin' like you's help. 
I could use a young and like use help with a little problem I'm having. Maybe you could do me a favor. I was going through my trolley instruction manuals. Found a few flyers were torn up from the last time Rue put me in the doghouse. You know how dogs like to rip up things like manuals, homework, and stable marriages. I'd like to restore them, but the, pri the pieces could be all over town now by gum. Thanks for already snooping around for Patrick. Could you keep an eye out for trolley manual pieces as well? Assemble the pieces before the train ceases. The streetcar maimed his flyer. <laughs> That's like a street a streetcar named design. Press and hold A to drag puzzle pieces into correct position to form a picture. Don't have all the pieces. They're scattered throughout Alligator, New York City. Oh, wait. My, my puzzle pieces? Remember, always let everyone off. Hey now, that looks real nice. There's still some work to be done though. Click that arrow if you want to move on to the next flyer. You can always click back to see the previous one if the spirit moves you. Maybe you can do something with this as well. It doesn't go with any of my flyers. A what? Come back anytime you want. Uh, what? We just unlocked new area. Okay, let's double check. Oh, I clicked the back alley. We checked there pretty well. Let's just go to the new part of town. Ninth Street. Excuse me. Okay, let's go back. We have we have puzzle pieces. Bugs too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just loading bugs into the trolley? Filling up the trolley, I knew I was forgetting something. Bugs and potters, you may have just saved this old trolley conductor's career. Hey! So we're just missing two more. As for the event, I'll be transporting most of the family there myself on the trolley to help set things up. These things take a little time, you know. I'm sure you'll see when you get there. Thanks again for all your help. Say, this isn't your stop. Come back anytime you want. Oh! This is the person we're... Hmm. To my new friend. Sometimes it's really hard for me to get my thoughts out through my snoot rather than on paper, as I'm sure you've already noticed. I really appreciate you taking the time to read this and the text I sent you too. 
I know it must have seemed out of the blue to get them. Truthfully, I was just so lonely when I saw your number on a scrap of newspaper behind the cans here that I dialed, but all the information had been torn away. I don't know who you are, but I guess that's fair since you don't know who I am either. The thing is, I've not tried to talk to anyone else for such a long time, not since Sarah passed away, really. She was all I had in the world and all I needed to. It's funny how sometimes you have everything and then in an instant things change and everything is different. Everything is sure different now without Sarah. I spent a lot of time not moving forward actually, but talking to you today, telling you things about the city, really made me feel like I could try to, like I could try to. Like if I went out in the sun, it would still be there, even if, even if Sarah won't be. The kites would still fly with colorful tails. Alligator Chinatown would still smell like baking chestnuts, and even the river would still be flowing, ever forward, just like time, and just like me. Thank you for not pushing a stranger like me away when I reached out. It meant more to me than you might ever know. Wishing you the best, your friendly city guide, Danny. A puzzle piece! Street Station hasn't been open to the public in a few years now. Not since the flooding unearthed the ruins of an ancient pizza rat society. They were already in the Iron Age and everything. I'm the only guy on the job fixing up this place, or else it would have probably have been reopened sooner. That's Mayor Wibbly Finn for you, probably putting all your tax money into more hip themed ice cream shops instead of Reuben over here. I don't mind being the only one working here. Can't say it gets lonely with what with the hum of the soda machine and the sounds of the rat forge, carpe pizza and all that. Ruben could use a candy bar. What's a candy bar? Can I get you a soda? Who's this? Is this Danny? Gary the Nose. Hey buddy, you wanna see something interesting? You look like an alligator of good taste. I can tell just by the very visible expression you're, you're giving off. A gator of high caliber, of luxury few can afford. I may have what you're looking for, my friend. See this coat here? Nice, right? Got it at the Creeps Warehouse semi-annual sale. I have, something, I have some interesting wares inside it, as well as my bus pass, which is less interesting, but has a fun puppy sticker of a hot dog in it. But yes, my wares. Things you've never seen. Things you may never see again. Things you'll wish you could see again, but can't because I'm busy doing laundry or watching TV shows about superheroes. You may be wondering, is he wearing clothes under there? And the answer to that is sort of, but that's besides the point. Gary the Nose. Let's just call me Gary for now, yeah? Good old Gary. Trustworthy Gary. Gary ain't never had a fly. I mean, like for sport. I always eat any fly I heard, you know. Circle of life for bugs eating alligators and all that. Pat? Pat the alligator? Yeah, I know him. We ain't family or nothing, but we took a pottery class together at the YACA. So Gary, unrelated. Nice guy, kinda. Twitchy, though. We keep in touch on ICQ. Of course, Gary knows about the event. Gary knows about everything going down in Alligator, New York City. Events, meets and greets, get-togethers, Jack and Jill baby showers. Gary knows about all that stuff. But Gary ain't no squealer. If you want info, you're gonna have to do a little something for me. So, would you look at my paintings? I'm trying to get it to art college. It's always been my dream to draw pictures for a living and reside under the poverty line crying a lot. I've been practicing on my own, copying the old Gator Masters, but I just can't seem to get it quite right. If I show you the real painting in my forgery, could you point out what I got wrong? It really helped to get some honest critique. I could sob softly about later on my loft bed. So, will you look through my portfolio? Of course. 
A novice is seeking constructive critiquing. Arda Sally. Spot the difference between the original painting and Gary's forgery. Press A to mark a difference. He's an artist. Spot between paintings. First, I'm gonna show you a beautiful painting. When you've seen enough, click click me to see the other painting that's also very good. Switch back and forth as many times as you like. You spot a difference? Click on it. If you get three wrong, my feelings are really gonna be hurt. Ready? Let's go. So that's the original. Oh, maybe I can only get three wrong. Something like that. Oh. There's a kid drowning in the lake. I thought I saw somebody that I that was not actually sure. The fact that it says forge.
<laughs> what is this check against? No help from chat. No help from chat. I keep looking at this because I'm like, what is this? It's just like a cone? Is that supposed to be the famous artwork? It is. Um, we're trying to spot the differences. No help. Uh, so one of the this is the original. This is the one that he made, and we need to spot the difference. Other thing missing. Oh, whoops. Okay, so you can actually. Oh, you can also mark it on the. Ah, the original. I see. That's not. I want there to be something over here, but I can't, I don't see anything. I just want it so that, like, check marks are kind of evened out, but I don't think there's anything actually. Teeth were different. 
Amazing, you have the eye of a true artist. That was my earlier work. Can you spot the differences in, during Gary's triptych period? Oh, side seems good. Left side, got the chimney, the house is fine, I think. And the background looks fine. Left. Like the door. Door the same. Steps. Something hanging in the background. Does that look normal? It's right there. Oh, the candle. Ah, there it is. So 
something so small. It's incredible. Are you ready to see my newest piece? Okay. Eyes. Floating hearts. pants. like counting the bones to make sure they were the same amount. They look like they're the same amount.
do not see. I want there's something to be wrong here. Good at noticing two differences. All right, we got what was his name? Gary. The nose. Wow, thank you for all the feedback. Can't wait to incorporate it into the next painting series. You know, I was thinking of switching over to trying cartoons, but you really convinced me to stay the course on painting and not throw my life away. Gary feels a new lease on living. Event? Oh, yeah, right, right, right. The event. Truthfully, it's my first professional gig. Drawing the invitation at all. Pat's Ma even paid me ten whole dollars for it, which is five dollars higher than my listed online commission prices. Gary's really moving up in the world. Anyway, friend, looks like I'll be seeing you tonight. Till then, watch yourself. Okay, so we're only missing one more. What's this? Big Mama, come closer. Yes, let me see your face. You've made it so far to come here. And again, I've learned that everywhere you go, that's the farthest you've ever gone. I'm as old as time itself, and I'm not ready to yet to know the depths of my being. My great-grandson, fruit of my loins, fruit on the vine. Big Mama! drop in the great pond of self that lives within each one of us. Fear not the ripple that grows within. If it's fate that discourages you, let the cards be your guide. Wisdom comes from knowledge. To learn more, you must come closer. Sit and light the candle. Heed have calls and smell mothballs. Oldest maid. Oh no! <laughs> Face your future. flame breaks the darkness. The light provides one a new perspective of the time and space in which we are granted this fleeting moment together. I will deal the cards. The future is in your hands, young reptile. Choose. That one on the right. You must be a fearless soul, but you should tread more carefully. Lie low, observe, plan. When the time is right, your, your coming out will take everyone by surprise. Good 
good second choice. When you're my age, you'll find comfort in randomness. It's fine to let fate guide your hand. You're out of your element, but you can adapt and thrive. And if not, you can always go home. They say the last card is often the cruelest. Let's see. Your options are infinite. You are strong and swift. Give yourself time to flourish right where you are. What does it all mean? Nothing, perhaps. After all, you have been able to make your own destiny until now. You seem like a good egg. I hope your future is full of joy. Let an old lady give you a little something just for taking the time to stop by for a chat. The last badge. The last badge! May these words be a talisman you can carry across your heart. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost ten. Can you come back? Someone came over to, to my table and th to threaten me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, we need to go to the mom. We need to fill out the chart. And then we have, like, time to waste, kind of. So, there's nothing here. Let me just double check. Well, it's a candy bar, but I don't think we... I don't think we get candy bars. I have certainly not got one. This is weird that the light turns on. Why does the light turn on? Does it do something? Clancy has some good friends. Popular at comic book conventions. Alright. So that is everybody. All of them have been filled in. Wow, you got everyone! How wonderful! It's so rare I get to see all these faces in one place without some kind of casket involved. You did an amazing job! I'm so proud that you're friends with my Patrick. Thank you again. See you tonight. Daryl. 
Listen, can we stop talking about it? I'm still feeling pretty sensitive about the whole thing. This is almost as bad as the unlimited breadsticks debacle of last summer. Why not unlimited? What's not unlimited is apparently how much I sh how much shame I can feel. That's Mr. Chatterpants for you. We didn't go to... Let's go back to the arcade. Maybe I need to pester some people. My mom was always on my case, like, Artie, right, go outside and talk to other alligators. Or Artie, right, stop hiding behind various types of curtains inside of me. Like, I'm supposed to not hide behind various types of curtains in and outside of me. I think I am, Mom. Puzzle piece. Need six more. Take the shot, Rocco. Hold your horses, Bonnie. I'm lining up my stick. You gotta be delicate. Oh, I've been holding my horses. Cradling my horses. I've enveloped my horses in the safety of a tender, meaningful embrace. All night waiting for you to take the shot, Rocco. You never hold me like that, Bond. There's just two rules if you want to rack up the game with me. Be cool, shoot pool, and stay in school. But don't bring up how I never learned to count. Oh, that's the third game I lost in a row. You're too good at this, Bond. I know. Come on, what's your secret? Muscle, hustle, and rustle. Rustle? My holistic dentist. After he screams in my mouth to soft jazz, we hit up the pool hall downtown. Comfortable with myself. <laughs> Why do we always gotta come here? This place is a dump. You have to come, Rocco. No way. The only thing worse than being in a dump is not being invited to the dump to begin with. Like you're too trashy for the other trash, which is unnervingly close to an entry from my dream journal last week. A grown man can't come to a children's arcade to unwind by hitting things with a stick and yelling swears. What kind of alligator country are we living in? Heck. Hey, cool it on that kind of talk, Rocco. There's a kid in here. Dang, you're right. Hey, what did I just say? Just lining up my shot. Yeah, the train movie remake was passable, but if you ask me, nothing beats the part of the, in the original where train leaps into the air and the harness holding the actor breaks. If you stay after the credits, you see the footage where he falls into the camera guy and a makeup artist holding two coffees. Leaving that whole scene unedited and with added slide whistle noises, now those were the days of true cinema. The coffee physics were really unbelievable, practical effects, you know. Shoo, take that, Master Conductor. No more? No more? Okay, sweet Geraldine. Okay, yeah, he helped you last time, Geraldine. Calm down. We pass. We pass. Yes. So where else have we gone?
this guy already. Now that we have everyone, I wish like we could just skip to... Oh, do they have anything? Nope. I wish we could just skip to um, the birthday party. Buzz off scram. You know, I want to hear about that time Slasher took a girl to something. Just keep, keep chatting. Keep chatting. I'm pretty sure we read all that last time. It does. Okay, that's good. We have Amos. Let's, um, okay. If we just keep traveling. Uh, oops. I'm pretty sure this is all stuff that we had not read before. Um, let's just keep traveling, and eventually we will get to the party. It will spot something we haven't seen before. There's actually... Let's put these last pieces in. Or at least we have. We're still missing a bunch, but... Two, three, four, five. Dang. There's not. Don't actually need a soda to be frank. My wife packed me a healthy bug lunch and a bottle of everyone's favorite standby, fizzy, unflavored water. Doctors say I gotta watch my sugar, and Charlene takes that very seriously. What Charlene is up to on her day off. Probably reading her book somewhere and drinking too much coffee. Love that gal. Ribbon could use a candy bar. Yeah, I know, Ribbon. I know. Okay, we read this already. Person who was texting us. Danny. Oops. 
could challenge her again, but I don't want to. That's not where I meant to go. Memorial Park. Just randomly tap on a few more things. this one. or something. I didn't know if there was like a... We keep tapping this, eventually a sticker comes out. No? Okay. All right. Now we will just keep traveling until we... It gets late enough for the birthday party. And then we'll see if anything happens. Different. grows an alligator broom. Honestly, the animations for this game are just super good. I'm kind of impressed by the style. Even though it's like, it's really simple, looks kind of goofy. I find that even, like, more impressive in a way, because to try to make something goofy still feel, like, real? I don't know. Like, it just, I could see, if you told me there was a whole cartoon show with this, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Let's see, MIA? Um, he's still inside. Now I need to just, even though we didn't get all the puzzle pieces. I'm just traveling back and forth because time passes and you have to wait to a certain time till the party starts. So here, oh, you know that guy, this kid. I have no idea where the other five Yeah, that was the same one. <laughs> okay, what time is it? It's three. I think a party, I think it starts at, it's not at four. Maybe I didn't check this place now. Or maybe some of these people have stickers and I didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. We read this last time. We read this last time. Keep, 
have uh, These are all things we read last time, but just in case any of them have a sticker, I mean, not a sticker, a um, puzzle piece. Okay, yeah, I, I feel like we did talk to all these people. might have to, just for like later on my own sake, I may have to look up where all the puzzle pieces are. Just so I, just so I can say I have them all. Like I still, I feel like I've never seen this one before, this guy before. He's wearing rollerblades. Okay. What happens if we go inside? Can we just talk to Pat? He'll be like, isn't it time for your birthday party? Take us there. Oh, he's not here. So now all we do is travel. All we do is travel. Oh, cool. The time passes. This guy's cool. Hey, -oh. hey, it's me again. You know, think about shoes. Okay. I'm busy. Okay, so now it's the next event. I wonder if there are there different NPCs that show up at different times of day. If I go to one earlier on in the day. <laughs> this guy seems nervous. Just keep on. Going. Just keep on. Until it's time. I think the sad thing is it only takes. I don't know how much time is passing here until we take a trip. Yeah, 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 okay. Whew. It's time. It is time. Now we just gotta na navigate the halls. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, take me up, bub. Let's go out. Okay. 
Navigator. If we can find the musician guy, it seems like... Party's always around there, so... so happy. I love how they animate his eyes. His dopey smile. Alright, so there should be a couple of people new. Ah, this guy. Yeah, thanks to you, I got into the community college's liberal arts program. Can't wait to disappoint my parents in untold ways. Oh, the old lady. Alright, you can look at my cards, but don't go around telling everyone you meet you, you meet about it, Kabish. They knew I let you look at my cards. Every girly Lou and Bobby who's a do would be coming over here trying to get a peep. Don't let the greater public masses look at my cards. I knew something special in you, but your time is not yet over. Do what you must, but you must do. Still a chance to set things right. There's Clancy. Much gratitude for the help, Elia, youngin. Thanks to you, the only doghouse I'm sleeping in these days is a metaphorical one. It's made of two twin beds pushed to opposite sides of the room. And I think there was there was only four I was missing. What happens? I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it really meant so much to me. A real special friend. Thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on. Everyone is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. Okay, now I'm actually going to make this one this time again. Because I thought this was great. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, the anime eyes. You gotta have the anime eyes. Hair. Oh. Those my glasses. Change that to black. At us. Welcome to the family. I love that. I love how they filled in as you got to know all of, the, all of them. Let's see.
Uh-oh. The next morning, Pat invites you to his house for tea. Wow, I can't believe you were a hitman that had a change of heart at the last second and pulled me up to safety. I especially can't believe I accidentally hired my own hitman to kill me on my birthday. And now you're here at my house for tea. What an increasingly large pool of unlikely circumstances congregating. Really though, you won't believe how this all happened. Why, it was just last week when I made that fateful phone call. I am one who can kill any guys you need. Call me for murder help. Leave a detailed description of who you... I am ill, guys. Need me help. Leave a detailed description of who you is. Oh my gosh, I have to help. <laughs> Bachelor of Hit Gator Sciences. Hi, Pat is four feet tall with two actual feet. Cool hat, great bandana from Alligator, New York City. Birthday on the 16th. I hope you feel better. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I still can't believe I was the one who hired you. I guess it serves me right, always being scared of someone out to get me. Truly, the only one out to get me in the end was me. Whoa. That's like Super Mondo Deep Deep. I defo gotta tell Dr. Duplesnoot about this breakthrough next Tuesday. Anyways, all I can say is cheese and crackers. I'm glad you have a heart of gold in there. And arms of gold which, <laughs> with which to save a fallen gator. Oh, hey, Rumi. This is the hitman I accidentally hired to rub me out. Can you believe I did that? <laughs> it's not hard to believe. It was you all along. Your brain is like a, a sieve? And you're like kind of like a ding-dong. I hope you liked my whole family. You did so much for all of them. I bet they'll want to throw you a surprise party next time. Hey, I know. Would you guys like to take a quick photo together? This has been the most stressful birthday I've ever had, and I want to remember that stress forever. And probably will, in therapy. What is this? Oh, look at us, all friends, all not getting rubbed out or hiding in their favorite hotel rooms. So ends our tale at the hotel. With friendship, nothing greater. And so I bid you farewell, and see you later, alligator! Mandy, you said it. You said the thing. I said the thing. Ah. Ah. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. I guess his voice is over. Ah, great. Super. Good. Oh, look at us. The end. I like. Look at that. Of course I'm a hitman with a heart of gold. Just look at my eyes. You can go outside now. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is. <sighs> That's amazing. I loved this. I thought this was such a great game. <sighs> Thank you for uh, sticking with me through this. This is, I, I feel like one of the things that I've appreciated about some of these indie games is just like the writing quality and the humor is just <sighs> it's just so good I wish I want there to be more I want there to be more that's I think what it comes down to and if they had some more of alligator New York City I would be just great with it uh, well thank you runner for uh, <laughs> sticking by and everyone else will watch this later um but uh yeah this was like again i loved it it's honestly pretty short in comparison to like other games but um and we still haven't gotten all the stickers we're not gonna get them all i'll probably will do that in my own time um but next set, jet lounge then we're gonna be starting a new new game so we'll see where that goes um well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. This is a long stream. Six hours? 
little over six hours. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we were, we're going to end this very soon. Um, thanks for everyone who stuck around with me during the Japanese uh, treats, Tokyo treat box. Um, this week, we're going to be playing still some Animal Crossing. I think we're going to be mixing in some indie games um, throughout the week, um, or at least a new indie game. Um, I need to catch up on getting some uh, simple panels, so I'm going to just try to, like... Uh, we, we may not play Animal Crossing as much this week, is basically what I'm saying. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter, um, if you're doing anything. Um, and, uh, yeah... I guess that's pretty much it. We're gonna we're gonna kind of call it there. So I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks for hanging out with me today on this jet lounge, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye bye.